이런 과정들을 통틀어 신뢰라고 부른다고 하더군요. 긍정적인 경험이에요. 가까워진다. He's so easy. Like I, I literally don't know what the strategy is, and I never have. All I've ever done is press win rate, win rate, and I win. What's going on? Happy Thursday. It is time for more Limbus Company. Finally, except I bring bad news. Um, I also have to take next Thursday off because. Oh no! Actually, I might not, because the rehearsal is earlier than I thought. I just may have to delay, but maybe not. So I actually can do this next week as well. But anyway, welcome back. Oh, don't, don't do that. It makes me think. Okay, good. I am streaming. Yeah, sorry about the delay. Um, I got a new instrument today, and it's a clarinet, and I played it for two hours straight. Um, I'm not gonna play it now because I just ate and I put it away. Um, but I'm a little scared. Because after that, I couldn't play trumpet normally, and that concerned me a little. I feel like I'm a little low to the ground. There we go. Didn't know what this was. There's, there's the Dons. Oh, you can't see the other Don. She's kind of hidden. Uh, French Goose, I am convinced you have a wrong email or something, because I, I looked everywhere for your art and I couldn't find it. But speaking of art, what is that? Oh, that's a Kerba. <laughs> Um, who is the art? Oh yes, it was Blue Asterism Solace. Sol Sol wait, hold on. Which one is it? Solstice. There it is. We're gonna beat the devil out of him. My dad, I told, my dad's like, I wanna start painting because I, uh, we were watching Ripley together and he's like, I want to start painting. And I'm like, you don't have to take classes, you can do a lot with Bob Ross. And then he spent like an hour looking at the Bob Ross site. But anyway, thank you for the art. Bob Ross is, is real, the effect is real. But the thing, the caveat is, you do need like decent sort of paint, like the same type of paint he's using, otherwise it's, it's not gonna turn out the best, but it'll still turn out pretty good. You got cursed by an email wizard, can't send anything until the next blue moon. Dang. Are the the library of arena gone now? Is this game any less obtuse than library of arena? What do you mean obtuse? I'm still doing library of arena. I just want to do this for now. Um, but of course, what would a, a Limbus dream be without, thank you, without, thank you, without gotcha in the beginning? Yes, dude. I, oh, yellow, two yellows? Oh no, just one. It is, is she a season two? Why don't I have her? <gasps> Wait, who is this? Oh, shit, it's an ego. That's pretty sick. Cool. Oh, so I, I did get three, two, three stars. Look at this, look at this eyeless horror right here. <laughs> Fucking abnormality over there. Very nice. Hell yeah. Blady lineage artist is kind of garbage. But, okay, like... I mean, everything is garbage compared to, to this Otis. And then... Oh, I actually don't have a good Ryushu. Ryo... What is her name again? Ryushu. Whatever. I, I don't know why I'm forgetting. Or at least I don't like any of the ones I have. They're kind of nothing. I don't have a good Hong Lu though. Oh, but we just got the Dimension Shredder. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, well, this is ass, so. Actually, wait, this was saving me in Railway for some reason. I think it just has a really high clash. Dense, hard to understand, comically complex. This game is comically complex, but you literally don't need to know anything to even win. As you'll see, I'll just press two buttons and I'll win. The only time you have to really learn the game is like maybe three times in the entire story so far. 
and then for end game content and I still haven't learned it. I know how everything works basically I just haven't needed to even try that hard. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I don't think I need a Heathcliff. So I'll probably go with the other target extraction. I don't have this guy. Um, I have that. I have that. Is it just these three or is it actually everything? Oh, four? I have that, I have that, I don't have that, and I have that. Oh, actually here, this will tell me. Um, okay. I, 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 wait, what? Oh my gosh, why didn't they put it in order? Are they insane? Why didn't they order it from... Mm, great, why? Why would you do that? <clears throat> I didn't know you were playing Peak. Just count to six for now. <clears throat> I guess I'll go for this instead. I don't really need a Heathcliff. I, I have a billion. Oh, I get one more after this. I mean, I don't really need anything, to be honest. B BL Otis is like bottom five ideas in the game. Oh, another three! Oh, okay, easy. <laughs> Man, now, I, now I have no pull to really uh, gamble that hard. There she is again, the eyeless creature. Speaking of eyeless creatures, did anyone see that game going around that's like a copy of Papers, Please? But it's like, not my neighbor. I, I basically like watched a 15 minute video of that game and I saw all of the content, so now I don't need to play it. <clears throat> got the... Oh, that's a lot of shards. Oh shit, that is a... That's good, good. So you implied you're still playing Rena? Rena's taking a long time because the story is really long. Is that the flavor of the month in the indie horror slop? I wouldn't even call it horror because it's not scary. It could have been way scarier. I think, I was just thinking about this. You know, I'm wrong, but you know how like everyone in the middle ages was scared of demons and stuff. And then like a couple decades ago, everyone was like really big scared of Satan. And then it was clowns. I'd say doppelgangers. That's that's what I want to be the next scary thing. Although I think that has the worst effect on humans because then they just don't trust anyone. But I think doppelgangers are probably some of the scariest things I've ever seen. However, that game is not scary at all. Like, there's not even jump scares. And it's, I'm like, that's, uh, there's so much potential. So it was really disappointing. Okay, I guess I'm not running this again. Um, maybe, do I want to do this? No, maybe I'll just wait until the next event. Um, because I don't want to waste my shit on Heathcliff. Made. Okay. Cool. Oh, I... I uptied her today. Very exciting. <clears throat> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, so many numbers going up and so many good noises. Okay, let's go to the story. Oh yeah, this one will be very long because, right, I am... I'm letting the voice acting actually play fully because this one is, um, the voice acting's really good. Do you have enough shards to buy anything? I don't know. Let me look. I don't know if I want to do that. I feel like I, I have to hold off until the end of the season because I don't want to like, you know, I could just pull it from the, the lottery, the gotcha. And then, then it's like, oh, I spent all these shards for nothing. So that's why I don't think I'm going to use them until... I, I can't buy anything now. Even if I used all these boxes, I can use these right now though. Not that it matters. Andy, out of concern, what's your plan for Walpurg when Walpurg comes around? Due to your lunacy amount? What, I don't know, why is my lunacy amount? I have to... What does that have to do with anything? 
so you can part. The last. Oh, wait, what? You mean like, you mean the buying? I bought everything. I already got everything. So you can part to go. So you can Where, part. Drive? Dog pushed the uh, door open. What's up, Malthus? Limbus story may be peak, but man, the gameplay. Yeah, the gameplay is pretty fucking trash. Library of Arena is more fun, I would say. Although, Library of Arena frustrates me more with the building. But yeah, the, the gameplay in this game is, is 90, like, 7% just not good at all. <laughs> I don't play it for the game, though. We play it for this! <laughs> Boss Matthew, I forgot he had a haircut. Hey, ma. This, this guy is scarier. This guy is scarier than the entire game I was talking about. He just like showed up so fast, and I got like the tiniest little bit of fright, and that is scarier than that entire game. Since Walperg identities can't be shard until the next Walperg. Oh. Yeah, I just, I have, I get them all. I just have them all. It was easy. Um, maybe I had a lot of shards back then, though. I don't know. I just bought them all because I knew the event was going away. <clears throat> right on, you Muppet. You've been gone for so long, you don't even recognize the infin infamous Mad Coney. How do you not? <laughs> Mad Coney? <laughs> You've known that vagrant for long? Why haven't you told me? You think these guys all like shout really loud to get through the their masks? Like they're just normally talking way louder than everyone else? Well, I hardly imagine you'd be interested in hearing every little friend I made back when we were just a gang rolling in the sweaty, muddy streets. Boss, why are you working for this blighter? Wait, no, but... That mask, those rabbit ears... Wait, you're still with the dead rabbits? What? Why did it take you any amount of time to comprehend that? <laughs> Loudness wouldn't make it that much more understandable. I mean, I can still hear the words. Yeah, we've uh, changed a tad, eh? <laughs> Remember, lad? Back in the day, ah, all we needed to crack some, all we needed to crack some Adam's family's eds was some tattered scarf around one arm and bottles of beer on tab. We even named one of the beers after you, didn't we? Hey, 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 bartender. Yeah, yeah, get me, uh, uh, how many? Yeah, three pieces of shit over here. Yeah, yep. <laughs> the the pub that used to sell the beer closed a sh closed shop a few weeks ago. Ain't got much business around with that dreadful room of keeping everyone home nowadays. What? I tried yelling at someone through a respirator. Results were unfavorable. I can yell, I can yell at people through this thing. <laughs> it's actually a, an advanced technique if you make it musical. Do other languages have an analog for shortening words ending in ing to in? Well, I know Japan, there's the Kansai dialect. If you ask me any more, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I can actually, I can actually hear the accent though, which is weird, considering I can't really understand much of it. 
How it feels being a Limbus fan who isn't annoyed or bored by the gameplay. Insert image of a werewolf tearing its shirt off. <laughs> Any what is the Kansai dialect? I, it's a different type of accent and dialect in Japan. What? The wolf's fall clothes? Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? I've never heard them do that, but... It's actually a dude who is completely silhouetted named Sinners. You know, like that, what's, what do they call? Yeah, like, you know, like the name Smithers? Is that, is that the name I'm thinking of? But it's one dude named Sinners. <laughs> <laughs> that is so, that's so dumb. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I suppose I'm leaving you all out of the loop, eh? What is that? Cracking noise. <laughs> well, allow me to introduce the gaffer. New word obtained. What a gaff! Andy Pine Coke has a new commentary and video. I'm not that huge of a fan of him. People keep telling me that. Um, I do it, the Invisible Walls one. I have it in my watch later. I just feel like I have to block out a lot of time to watch any of his stuff. And focus. I did, I was interested in it though. He was a boss of an old syndicate I used yeah. to run with. They're all friends of yours, eh? Joined some posh, proper company after running out on us out of nowhere, did you? <laughs> that smile. Well, things just worked out that way. No, you are a huge fan. Oh, okay. Are all them lads and lasses your lackeys? Blimey, got a walking timepiece with you too. You daft bastard! You're certainly moving up in the world, eh? You're like, damn! I don't need this watch. Damn! I don't need no alarm clock. Damn! I don't need no grandfather clock. Kill that guy and put a clock on his head, reanimate him, and make him walk around with me and tell me the time, motherfucker. That's how rich I am, moving up in the world. Heh. <laughs> Lackeys? <laughs> I like how Ishmael was the first to respond. Ishmael glared at Heathcliff with a look that could kill, but she decided to hold her silence and merely shook her head in disbelief. She probably decided that it was not worth the trouble. So what's up with the masks, boss? Boss? They're called the Dead Rabbits Crew. Oh, so they weren't always like that. I like the running gag of every new person the sinners meet trying to use Dante's head as a normal clock. Yeah. I mean, he's, a, he's, he's already got a watch in hand. Look at him. He's comparing right now. He's like, a bit late, isn't it? What, is it odd? T trends change with the time, lad. The time for scarves with rabbit embroidery is long past. Wow, that sounds really wimpy. Oh, is that so? It looks a bit... Of course not. Who do you think we are? We the dead rabbits ain't a bookish rabble that follows the coattails of some naff trend. <laughs> You've really not once returned to this place since you left, have you? No. When I left this manor, and eventually the dead rabbits, I made a promise to myself that I'd not return. Not even a step closer to this place until I've made something of myself. Not until I can return as a successful man. And now, I have 12 friends, and two other people that drive a bus. <laughs> Well, you've always hated this place, even when you were one of us. I love the boss's voice acting. Such a funny little guy. It's He sounds like someone in Ruina. 
maybe like the is he the clown in Rena? Cause it's just the way he suddenly like goes up crazy. I've got news for you. Got news for you, Heathcliff. We're no longer the same lowly backstreets gang you're familiar with. Now we're the highly front streets gang. Hell yeah. Oswald? I suppose we've moved we've also moved up in the world someone from the ring all oh, right who's been keeping their eyes on us plucked us right off the street and into their fold we're bigger now we're one of the up-and-coming syndicates the the ring one of the fingers now nah, lassie the movie <laughs> Must be the fathers of the ring, then? They're the, oh, oh, eh. They're the only ones who'd outfit their underlings with these cheap, tacky animal masks. Then you're. Yeah, you little shite! Oh, <laughs> I'm the top, of, top boss of the dead rabbits now! <laughs> Oh, a character in this conto? Uh... Boss. Boss. We had to drink the milk at the same time when we were drinking the milk at the same time. Do you remember what you always used to say when we filled up with more than three bottles of beer? That, that's it. Takes, it takes him three bottles. <laughs> what we drank were some lousy beer made from half-rotten wheat hit. Heathcliff. <laughs> and it was poison too. I don't remember anything. <laughs> All that I remembered come the next morning was a pounding headache and the lat feeling of our empty pockets. You used to tell me that it hurt like hell. You used to tell me that it hurt like hell every time one of your own men came back to hurt us. To us hurt. What the fuck? Oh, I see. Even the recruits. Like they hurt not just any underling, but an extension of you. <gasps> Millie reference. I knew you'd make it big one day, boss. Well, I suppose drunk me knew how to be to how to wax poetic. I don't know what that means. For, for a non-bookish non rabble, he's saying a bunch of words I do not know. I, hey, not me. He's, was Zeus sus? What? I knew it was you, Matthew. The mask threw me off for a moment, boss. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> What a sorry sight this is. Well, he's got a watch too. I sincerely apologize. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they go up to Heathcliff. They're like, "So where's your your pocket watch?" And he just like points back at Dante. <laughs> Dante, I sincerely apologize to you, sweethearts, for crashing your tearful reunion. This canto is amazing. <laughs> I like. Sounds like it's like way in the different distance. <laughs> My bad, Gertrada. I wrote a, an arrangement for that song for brass. Sounds like a car alarm. The point is, but the point is, while you were wandering the streets, wasting the best years of your life on the road. Next. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I thought they were going to do it. Matt was honing his dead rabbit. Matt's made something of himself, which is why I hired him as my bodyguard. You hear me? <laughs> Not like you and your merry band of no-name, second-rate hooligans, and then just Dawn in the background. Limbus!
I could think of more than a few sinners who would have gotten angry enough to brandish their weapons at such an insult. But they all seem to remember that responding to such insults with violence only begot, begot pointless turmoil. So instead, they all began sighing heavily in an attempt to vent some of their pent-up anger. Damn, I thought I was going to say, except one, and Dawn's like, Limbus! <laughs> what, did she, what did she call the... What did justice havers or passerbys of justice? <laughs> While you were wandering the streets, I studied the British blade. Hindley, you seem to be sorry, sorely mistaken. This isn't the same winter you thrashed me, treated me like an indentured servant, and abused me like a hound, and also kicked me like a football, and and ringed me out like a wet dish rag, and what's <laughs> going on? I won't deny that I spent many days and nights imagining tearing that foul tongue from your gob. But Heathcliff glanced briefly in our direction. I have friends now. <laughs> even a poor sod like myself found a place to belong went on adventures to places you couldn't even imagine like the inside of a whale <laughs> learned a thing or two from him so I just feel bad for you mate damn that's like the biggest insult he could have given what? 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 Because you really haven't changed a bit. Besides... <laughs> the hell is that rag you're wearing? You look more like a drifting vagabond than I do. Damn! <laughs> what? What? You insolent fool. Uh, it's not it's got to be like right in the beginning of the audio file. that man's been saying some pretty nasty stuff about us but he doesn't even look like someone that's worth arguing with yeah Damn. <laughs> mate did you even check yourself in the mirror last week they should just go every sinner should just insult this guy they should all just roast him. <laughs> just back to back. And he just keeps going, What? I can't bear to look at you so down in the dumps, Henley. Of course, we had no way of uh, knowing what Henley looked like in the past, but we could pretty easily tell that he was far from the most stable person in the room. You, you fucking bastard! Roshu isn't gonna roast him, she's just gonna hit him with the forbidden three letter combo. I know. We haven't gotten one yet. I, I got it wrong, he didn't study the blade, he studied the boo! Now, now, Mr. Hindley, why don't you seat yourself on this sofa and calm down? Be more considerate of our boys standing in that corner watching the whole thing go down, eh? They don't even get these comfy looking leather sofas. <laughs> Hindley grumbled for a moment before slumping on a sofa. And even that simple action was stumbling and pathetic. <laughs> I see what happened. <laughs> he let the alcohol consume him and not the other way around. Fell into a big nasty barrel with no way out. <laughs> cool, cool line, Gregor. I've <laughs> I've seen the same look on some sailors failing to pull themselves out of that habit would lead them straight into a merciless maws of the lake not even a trace of them would be left well 
This man's still my client. Dude, I will fucking... <laughs> you will be wiped from existence if you go against me. Mr. Hindley hired me for some job, which is why I'm here at Wuthering Heights. Job? Catherine... Catherine's hosting this banquet, ain't she? What kind of job could possibly need the dead rabbit's help here? They're the dance squad. What? <laughs> a banquet? Well, I suppose there is one thing that hasn't changed with time. It's that witness, witless, useless idiot brain of yours. You absolute dullard. You absolute buffoon. Hindley. <coughs> Hindley. Angela. He's got a pocket watch too. They all have. Oh, because they're in T Corp. Right. Right. That makes sense. Makes sense. Please cease this at once. I implore. I implore you. I do not wish to see my manner sullied by uh, such foul obscenities. <laughs> That's good. This is not your home, Linton. It's mine. It's my manor. Have you seen the season four roadmap? I had, and I forgot most of it. But yeah, I think I, I saw it. You're the one who sullied this noble Wuthering Heights. My birthright bestowed upon me by my father by taking it from me by the means of trickery? Was your own family manor too small for you, Linton Edgar? Your oh so noble Edgar family? Edgar family? <gasps> there she is. Oh, and she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Linton, the fault lies with you! And then looks like he's suffering from 15 different diseases and recovering from four others. I don't know if he looks that bad. He just looks pale and like he hasn't gotten a lot of sleep and he has depression. <laughs> he's called Linton because of... he Because he inhales one piece of lint. Oh, because if he inhales one piece of lint, he fucking dies. <laughs> <laughs> the time for whining, crying, and throwing a tantrum to get what you want is long past. <coughs> <laughs> I love Henley's voice actor. Also, new word obtained. Bold words from for some milk sop who's about to choke himself to death on air. <laughs> hey, sh it's the it's the eyeless butler. Please maintain your distance, Mr. Hindley. What are these, like, boxes they're carrying? Sopping wet cat of a man. <laughs> this fellow is sopping with milk. In Maid Ishmael's Uptai story, we hear that the entire manor has to be swept and dusted every day or he can be hospitalized. Holy shit. I clicked expecting suffering in a challenge run. I'm not disappointed, just confused. What is this? Yeah, this isn't a challenge run. This is... Th basically, this is just going to really be a visual novel because I will just obliterate all gameplay with how highly leveled in I am and how easy this game is. But this is um, the third piece in a series that Project Moon made. You can just call it the Project Moon series. And, uh, yeah, so we're pretty deep into it, and this is the newest update. But it's the the second sequel to Lobotomy Corporation, which I highly recommend. Lobotomy Corporation is a very fun game. The sequel to it is, and they're all different. Although this one's like Library of Arena. But, uh, 
Lobotomy Corporation is definitely the most fun. And then the next two are just, you're more playing for the story. And I mean, this one you're really playing for the story because the gameplay is, it's too easy is really the problem. So you never have to learn it. Keep up the great work, Annie. Thanks, I appreciate it. Project Mooniverse. Suffering through Limbus gameplay is a challenge in itself. You just press P and enter and you win. No, I haven't heard this Countess Millie song. I wonder if I'll, I wonder if Annie will get, manage to actually get through more than 10 missions this time. Sounds like a gacha game. It's because it is a gacha game. Is a gacha made by people who don't know how to make gachas? That is true. I mean, this game, you really, it is really free to play and you're not really pressured. Although I have, I've spent $20 so far and that's just on the game passes because the game passes are fucking incredible. But anyway, I've seen more mongrels than you lot. I was your master only a few years ago. Have you cast aside your mel memories as well when you did your loyalties? The, the, the ordering of how these people speak their sentences is a little strange sometimes. Gosh, she looks so much like Otis. Cease this at once, Master Hinley. The butlers have all left Hinley Earnshaw behind, as you are very well aware yourself. The butlers. And you two butlers. We do not want to make further trouble here. Hmm. I guess. Oh. Understood, Chief Butler Nelly. I feel like it's a game with a gotcha on top, which makes the game suffer a decent, decent bit. Maybe. I, I just think the base gameplay is not... It's not hard enough, consistently enough, for you to learn the game and have fun, really. So you just kind of, like, brain dead through it. Chapter 5 and 6 are done by a Korean guy for the English translation, so probably a thing about how it's their second language. Especially with the Britishisms. Well, it's definitely not wrong. I mean, it might be wrong, but it's like, it's more a colloquial speak. And it's just, I'm expecting the sentence to read different when I'm trying to read it aloud. After a brief silence, Heathcliff finally brought up the question he's been stewing for so long. Also, just like all these games have a strangely, like, high vocabulary. Nelly, where is Catherine? You're right, they should make every fight like Ricardo. <laughs> I love him so much. He's, I couldn't even get mad during the fight. He's just like, he's just so funny. Every fight should have one new phase that's just Ricardo. That'd be so fucking awful. You know, Nelly, that cat, that Catherine. Oh, you must know, Nelly, that Catherine never did like these commotions. So many guests making so much noise in her home. She won't be pleased. I suppose she never did. <laughs> I've been keeping my volume in check because I didn't want to offend her. But it's getting harder and harder to keep it down. Whoa, the game lagged. That was weird. What? What, what is going on? Oh, maybe my mouse just isn't connecting. There is a look of unfathomable, immeasurable grief on both Linton and Nellie. Hinley was absently, absent-mindedly mumbling some foul language at the ceiling. And Heathcliff probably sensed from this ineffably dark and ominous silence that something was terribly wrong. It was setting in for us as well. After all, we've been whoop. 
After all we've been through in this journey, the silence was all too familiar. Where's Catherine? What's with this dour look on everyone? I'm terribly sorry, Heathcliff. I... Why, why are you sorry? What the hell are you sorry about? Heathcliff. Paperclip. I may have a correct assumption as to what this silence indicates. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Versalt! <laughs> okay, number one, Versalt. You do not know. She could be, like, deathly sick. She could be, like, kidnapped. There could be a lot of different things that could happen. You don't actually know. Furthermore, have you seen the shit we've gotten into? You cannot make an assumption. Oh. So I have no other choice but to tell you, as it is common courtesy to do so, that I'm very sorry to hear that. Oh, I thought he was going to say, I'm, I'll tell you myself what it is. What the f- <laughs> Can't you talk normally for once? I hardly know how to tell you this, but... Miss Catherine isn't here anymore. What do you mean she's not? Catherine. She's dead. I didn't know that's how this fucking book goes. <laughs> or not immediately like that. I only read the first three chapters. I only read the prologue to this book. Oh, we got the 40 lunacy. Everything's good. Don't worry, Heathcliff. We got 40 lunacy. It's so good. Butlers. <gasps> the human encounter bosses are literal jokes. You've already built up enough stan sanity, so it's just a steamroll. I don't know. I, it took me like four tries for Ricardo, but... And did you see the meme I sent in memes? It's of vital importance. Oh, yes, I'm well aware of it. <laughs> yeah, you should watch the highlights of that. <laughs> They're really good. They just had a second season. Um, Asteroid posted the... Uh, the Limbus Company, the soccer, the soccer match where Dante gets a header. Yeah, I've watched that like literally a hundred times. <laughs> My face when no Catherine. Linton looked up at Heathcliff. His eyes were bloodshot. <laughs> As you said earlier, none of us are here to see each other's ugly mugs. What other reason could we possibly have to reconvene like this? That can't be real. What kind of insane... <laughs> what the fuck? Who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> Whoa, jeez. They just really, they really just popped in there like that. Now, fixers of the, the UFI Association, who have remained silent throughout the entire conversation, commotion suddenly spoke up. They're standing there the entire time. Apparently, they, they should have had a little more like lead up before they just hit me with their outfits. You got to watch that live is incredible. I wish I was there to watch it live. I saw that the second season was pretty good too. I hope chapter seven is like 10 hours long and it's all padding, all hail Kanto four pacing. <laughs> I remember, I think it was Kanto four, just had a lot of like battles that with no story in between them. I can't even comprehend what's going on with this guy's 
That's a hat. That's hair. What are, what are these? Is that hair as well? Do they all have the same hairstyle? The promised hour has come. Coin. Kesorinime Hadanin. Hindley Onshoshi. Mr. Hindley Earnshaw, a blood relative of the deceased. Coin. Kesorine Nampionyatan. Linton Edgashi. Mr. Linton Edgar, the spouse of the deceased. Deceased. Majimagro, you on a so on good dear than he's a clipushi. And Mr. Hitu Clipushi, an individual mentioned by name in the will. Hiroke, Motuka Hanjari Moyasini, Chipengel Shijakal Chukoni, Chungjok de Asmida. Now that the three relevant parties are present, we, as the executors of the deceased will, may begin the ceremony. 이제 의뢰자 캐서리님의 유언 집행을 시작하도록 하겠습니다. The Umfi Association. You meant the Dante header? Oh, I know what you meant. Yeah, I, I saw the live chat. Yeah. I loved Canto 4, but the pacing was abys abysal. Abyssal. <laughs> The naming scheme of topic number was for every single thing. This is more digestible in three parts. The what? Uh, first order of business will be the execution of Miss, Miss Catherine's will. Bet that Heathcliff goes, wait, wait, what's, stop, what's going on? Right now, right then, right up. He's gonna be like, wait, wait, hold on. Thus commences this solemn occasion of Miss Catherine's funeral rites. As per the deceased's wishes, the will shall be read aloud here at Miss Catherine's manor in attendance of all of those presents. Then. No. Stop. Shut up for a second. Whose funeral rites? And what was that about her spouse? Oh, I didn't know he didn't know that. I mean, I had already assumed that. I assumed someone was married to her. I didn't think it was Linton. The man they called Linton rose from his seat for the first time since we've arrived here. After you abandoned this place with nary a word to her, Catherine immediately turned to me. Jeez. <laughs> then we were married. Every waking hour we spent together. Every waking hour we spent together. That's incorrect. Was filled with happiness and joy. We were happy to the very last day. To her very last breath. <laughs> Shut your stupid gob. The moment I set my foot in this manor, I heard her voice. I felt her presence. So what the bloody hell are you even talking about? I don't remember him hearing her voice, but... Every waking hour, in his state, that's probably like two a day. <laughs> that's good. The Dom back fight made your phone overheat so hard that it's what made you swear to only play news story content on your computer from then on. Yeah, it is quite enjoyable. Like, it's actually like eye candy to watch on computer, unlike mobile. I, I think I've only had the game crash once on me. This has to be some ploy. Those these fucking bastards. They must have this. This can't. Your marriage was a ploy. Heathcliff paused for a moment, struggling to find the words. 
This can't be how it ends. I won't believe a single shite coming out of your mouths until I see her body with my own eyes. Where is she? Bring her here now. <laughs> what a repulsive sight. The least you could have done was to show some proper respect for the dead. But I suppose even the bare minimum was too much to expect from someone like. <laughs> I understand how you feel, Heathcliff, so please. Calm yourself and take a seat. Get your hands off me. I can't just decide. You can't just decide for me that she's dead. I won't accept any of this. Not until I see Kathy with my own. Warning. Should this interruption of the will reading continue, we may have to resort to use of force to ensure the full execution of this will. I was looking if it was director or associate. Wait. Oh, wait, is this a... No, associate director. Well, wait, hold on. Sir, what is your full name? I Is he the actual director? I mean, director's not even high up. That just means director of the branch, right? And there's multiple branches. Shut up, you don't know shite, so shut your fucking mouth. Heathcliff was gasping. The sheer momentum, momentousness of the emotion uh, overwhelmed him. It looked as though he was about to lunge at anyone who even dared to get close. I could hardly tell whether it was sorrow or wrath that came over him. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking petty. <laughs> Heathcliff, why don't you go have a look in the mirror yourself? What a pathetic mess you've become. Fuck. They should just fucking ego stunlock Henley right now. Six sections each with a director. Each direction has six. Each direct. Each direction. What? Each direction has six sections, and then there's a central branch. So basically, the bosses. So they're basically the bosses, but only higher sections are the actual skilled ones. You mean each? Each uh, association has six sections? I didn't know that. Yeah, I do remember that the higher up the number is, the more skilled they are. Six directions per... Six sections per cardinal direction from the center of the city. Oh! I didn't know that. So there's... What do they call the four parts then? We've primarily seen south section fixers. Lower the number, the more skilled. Right, that's what I meant. Yeah, section one's better than section three. North, south, east, west. I was wondering if they just. No, 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 no. But they, what do they call them? Directions? Is that what they call them? I don't feel like I've heard that terminology. It doesn't matter what posh garb plebs like you, uh, like you wrap your, what? It doesn't matter what posh garb, doesn't matter what posh garb plebs like you wrap yourselves in. That filth from your low birth seeps right through the fabric at the slightest provo pro provocation. What? Why can't? Why do I not know how to say that word? That's weird. Kurigo. Kurigo. Provocation. 
pro Vok connotation. You'll eventually see Catherine's corpse, all right. <laughs> yeah, you'll see her corpse, all right. It's all part of the funeral process, so don't be in such a hurry to get there. I can't wait to see how she's resting after what she's done to me. Hindlin님, his clip님, 두분다 지금 당장 자리에 앉아 주실 것을 명령합니다. 이것은 최종 경고입니다. We haven't seen anything on non-South identity so far. Oh. I didn't know it said South section. All we know is that from distortion detected people dress funny. Yeah. Well, both would have beaten the game by now, or at least enter combat by now. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to see the combat. Mr. Hinley Earnshaw, Mr. Heathcliff. We're, we order that both of you immediately return to your seats. This is your final warning. Manager Esquire, we must do aught anon. What? Fixers of the OFI Association may even execute those involved should there be a breach of contract. <laughs> <laughs> I ill wish to see Sir Heathcliff be executed, nor do I wish to have battle to to have to battle the honorable fixers of the Ufi Association. You see, Andy likes to stall for time in the story so he doesn't fall asleep due to the gameplay. We don't? No, the game the gameplay is the least interesting part of this game. Especially when it's going to be me pressing two buttons and just not looking at anything that goes on. Really. I, you don't need to take it in, in any information to win. I agree with Don Quixote. There is no need for us to get involved in an unnecessary conflict, but... I don't think Heathcliff's going to listen to us. Don't they? I don't even know if there's anyone who can talk Heathcliff down when he's that agitated. Oh, I know someone. You have refused to comply. Kaga. We had no choice but to watch as the fixers of the Yuffie Association struck Heathcliff with their weapons. He fell to his knees with a painful cry. You sang? What? That sounded like... <laughs> it was him. <laughs> Do speak. Not you, you <laughs> say. What? Does she just say you shit? What? What? Speak still, your intentions notwithstanding. Oh, you stop. All of you. Something's off about this whole thing. Hmm. Wait, what did she say? I blanked out. Would you like to speak for this individual? <laughs> <laughs> what was was what she was going to say but she decided to remain silent in favor of not getting in trouble <laughs> right <laughs> huh? what are you doing bug guy for sure I can understand that seeing our fellow sinner get smacked around like that can be pretty aggravating, but... Once you get involved, peace will no longer be an option. Dante! Didn't know you cared so much about Heathcliff, Ryoshu. I doubt she does. My Not care? Oh, no comment. 
Roshu flicked her cigarette indifferently as though she was no longer interested. No comment. <laughs> you, you bastards. I'm surprised they actually took the time to change his clothes. She doesn't want to fight the Umthis. I love the combat of this game, though. I mean, that's good for you. I, I don't. <laughs> you say that, I... You say that, I had a good time seeing people play Desert Bus 64. Really? <laughs> yeah, the combat is more interesting when it gets hard. Which is rare. <laughs> OMG, this is my hero academia. Shut the fuck up, that comment. I hate that I know what you mean. <laughs> Naito I. It's kind of sad that they nerfed Chapter Six, Part Three as soon as, uh, as soon as the day it came out. Oh, really? Wait, what do you say? Fine, let's crack some skulls, shall we? Heathcliff stumbled to his feet with the club in his hand, glaring at everyone that stood before him. I see that you're still refusing to comply, despite our initial attempt. Should you refuse to let go of your weapon within the next minute, we will have no choice but to escalate our next steps. 60 seconds is a long fucking time. I guess. I couldn't care less about your steps. Give me Catherine, or... <laughs> None of us are leaving this manor alive. You lot, me, we're all going six feet under. <laughs> I like just thinking, you know, about people watching this who don't know what it it's about or anything just seeing like all these people fight and then maybe a guy with a mask and then fucking dante appears out of nowhere it's like who the fuck is that <laughs> shut it clockhead this ain't the time to bring up shite like the company rules stay out of my way I... I don't have anything to say. If someone that important to me died, I'd be blinded and deafened to all reason, too. Yeah, we know, Sinclair. That's me? Who the tick is clockhead? I feel like that's an actual line in this game. That is you, sort of. It's just the leader of everyone. The prosthetics, well, they call it a prosthetic sometimes, but it's debatable whether that's re what really it really is. But basically, this dude, Dun Dunte, got his head cut off and replaced with a clock that is does things we don't really know yet. Uh, but it gives him the ability to uh, bring all of 12 of the sinners back to life. Um, except I think he experiences all their pain. So these people are effectively immortal as long as Dante stays alive. Um, he can also explode, which is a secret hidden ability. Anti-prosthetic viewers. Uh, he's a faceless sh sh kicking. Got it. Perfect self-insert design. It's not really like self-insert because he has his own personality and stuff in lobotomy corporation you do kind of insert yourself more dante's his own character and technically some of the actions you take are the ones dante takes but it's not worth getting into you can think of him like the player character but he's the leader of all these guys but he's insanely weak and everything he just his his special ability is just to order these people around and they usually don't listen and then bring them back to life dunde is super cool 
They should add a hard mode for story that's pre-nerf version. That'd be cool. Hey, Heath, I understand how angry and frustrated you must be, but you can't... Shut your trap, all of you. Don't you dare touch me unless you want your faces caved in, too. It's nap time, Heathcliff. Whoa. Did, did she just knock him out cold with her bare hands? Rojan, you've done that before. <laughs> you've literally done that. Exactly that. Oh. And it wasn't even a punch. It was just a light tap. <laughs> his breathing is stable. It appears that she gave the nerve on the back of his neck a precise... On the back of his head, a precise focused strike. Which led to his loss of consciousness. Thank you, Marcel. What a flawless execution of that move. I can certainly say that I've seen something like that before. Reminds me of my family's. Sir, Sir Heathcliff has hath been defeated with a single fell strike. Holy mother of exposition dumping. Who? Uh, Hong Lu? He, that's like constant. Like he always is like, my family, my family, back home and my family. Just ignore him. <laughs> he doesn't say anything useful usually. Every self-respecting butler has to be equipped with one such move. I'll have you know that I almost said equipped. But I've I've grown. What other choice have we? Uh, what other choice have we got when the child fusses and fusses for 20 hours instead of going to sleep? <laughs> for, for, forsooth, I can say with quite the confidence that I can immediately slumber to the dreamlands upon tucking myself in bed. For, for truth. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> just... Best character. Hong Lu's just silly. Also, speaking of silly. silly. <laughs> Though it was not by his own volition. We have confirmed that he is no longer in possession of a weapon and has been subdued. However, the fact that he's unconscious still goes against the contract because you need... Well, I, I don't know if he said present or able to listen. Oh, okay. The whole... F that's the whole fucking story. It's just adding absurd levels of complexity for the memes. I don't really see that. You, I, I feel like you're saying that because weren't you there for the color where they were explaining color? That whole segment was stupid. That was dumb. That, that made no sense. The color and the time and the time and the color. Yeah, that, that was dumb. But no, this hasn't been anything complicated. It might just be that you're three games wide. <laughs> we will allow for a 10 minute recess to let things calm down for a moment, then proceed as planned. So, Nelly-nim? Um, excuse me, Lady Nelly. Lady Nelly, no need for such honorifics. Please just call me Nelly, Tilda. The contractors that Mr. Linton Edgar bought, brought, they once worked at this manor, right? Contractors? Is he talking about the association? Association? Oh, oh, okay. Yes, indeed. Some butlers from the Earnshaws, like myself, followed Miss Catherine to Master Linton's. Of course, most of Master Linton's but butlers 
Lintons. I need to stop, like, Midwest crushing that. Lintons. Butlers are from his own Edgar family. Excuse me, wait, what the f- Hold on. What? Of course, most of Master Linton's butlers are from his own Edgar family. What? 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 Oh, right. Fuck. I I was thinking Earnshaw. I'm just like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay. So if he gives the order to attack us, Lady Nelly would. Oh, pish posh. Ridiculous. I was a butler in direct service to Miss Catherine. Young Master Linton could plead and beg all he wants, but I won't always be taking his side. So, uh, what exactly are the what exactly are the butlers? <laughs> Butlers, forsooth! I am quite well acquainted in this matter. They are. House dogs on a tight leash, groveling before their masters. The most trustworthy and loyal people I've n ever known, I'd say. <laughs> Fixers bound to families. <laughs> <laughs> nice, gotcha. Some great help you fellows are. Well, I'm glad that I'm not the only one out of the loop for once. He also has amnesia, I forgot to say that. This is practically a straw man take on Kojima. Kojima? Sorry, Italian? If you're talking about, like, Death Stranding made total sense to me. I don't know why people kept saying it was confusing. I thought it made sense and wasn't that complicated. I won't say it was simple, but it wasn't complicated. <sighs> At least some of you know who we butlers are. It is a rather rare occasion, so not many people know, uh, even know that we exist. Hmm, sorry, you might see me licking my lips a lot. I like all of the trumpet players yesterday in rehearsal like we just died we we played really hard music for a very long time and then I also was playing a lot of music in the morning uh, of that day so my lips are like super dry I need to get chapstick hmm I don't like wearing chapstick on stream though because it reflects and it looks weird this training is confusing because you have to beat the game to get to the end, and that's too boring. Yeah, I didn't play the game, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I just watched it. Mmm. The pro tag? No, say it ain't so. Yeah, yeah. Mmm, don't sound like most normal folk would have a reason to know anything about them. You already look weird, Andy. Thanks. Unless they're in a position where they have no choice but to work at the rich folks' homes. Well, one of us is quite a passionate fan of fixers. I wanted her to be in the background just going... Quite. Oh, I'm very pleased to know that our dear Heathcliff has made some very intelligent friends. Yeah, intelligent. <laughs> Lady Nelly. <laughs> I promise thee that once I make my return to the bus, I shall have my hands on the butler figurine I had given up on acquiring. It shall stand tall and proud on the, the frontmost row of my display shelf. Don Quixote's eyes were practically exploding with joy at having her fixer obsession positively acknowledged and accepted for once. <laughs> Allow me to explain butlers are fixers indeed, yet they are rather distinct from most fixers thou hast encountered so far. <laughs> 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 
해결사라 하면 협회나 사무소에 소속되어 그때마다 다른 의뢰를 받고 있다만 <웃음> 이들은 다르지. Don's frowning spread is so fucking good. I love her. That's my favorite. Don being called intelligent, the world is ending. I tell you. A fixer oft refers to those who accept contracts as part of an association or an office. Alas, there exists a distinction when it comes to butlers. 바로 가문이나 저택에 소속이 되어 일관되고 장기적인 해결사 활동을 한다는 점, 물론 다른 해결사들처럼 한 사람만을 위해 고용되기도 한다오. Butlers join families or manors to serve them and only them on long-term contracts. For sooth, like any other fixers, butlers may be hired by a single person to serve them and only them as well. 가사와 전투, 돌봄까지 다양한 분야를 도맡는 점되어. Do note that our service is not limited to combat. We also conduct household management and care as well. 각가지 소양을 필요로 하는 아주 아주 힘들고 드문 해결사 직종이랍니다. It must also be mentioned that proficiency in many fields is a necessity to be a respected butler. This is no easy occupation, mind you. 그런데 버틀러를 고용하는 건 대단히 어마어마하게 비싸다는 걸로 알고 있네만. Yet, from what I have learned, to hire a butler is to pay an inordinate, inordinate amount of salary. 맞아요. 고생은 많이 하지만 고용 기간 갱신 때마다 어마어마한 보수와 함께 연금과 같은 안정적인 보수까지 보장받으니까요. Indeed, while butlers are always oh so busy, we are promised expensive compensation at every contract extension. With stable bonuses such as pensions. 명망 높은 해결사분 중엔 협회에서 은퇴를 하고 버틀러로 전향하시는 분들도 종종 있죠. Many famous association fixers also retire to serve as butlers as well. 저는 캐서리 나가시 가문의 버틀러였고 린튼 도련님과 결혼하시면서 에드가 가문의 버틀러들과 섞이게 되었지만. I was once a butler in service of Miss Catherine's family and was transferred to Master Linton Edgar's family. To join the ranks when she married him. 아주 평화로운 협의를 통해 제가 버틀러들의 대장격인 치프 버틀러가 되었답니다. Still, after a rather peaceful mutual debate, debate, we came to the conclusion that I would be assuming the associate, ah, uh, the position of chief butler, leader of the butlers in that household. 그렇구만. 어. 말만 들어도 정말 평화로워 보여. 어. Gotcha. Totally peaceful. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it was really, uh, it really was one peaceful transfer of power. Oh, 그러고 보니 이 히스클리프 군도 조그마할 때가 있었다니 상상이 가지 않는군. 어렸을 때는 어떤 아이였는가? Oh, it is quite. Fa yeah, yeah. There's, there's the face. Oh, it is quite fascinating to imagine that even Sir Heathcliff had been a tiny bairn. I, I don't know how to say that word. How was he as a youth? Gregor and Pablo do of time. Oh, 제가 치프 버틀러까지 될수 있었던데 큰 이유를 찾아야 한다. Nothing in that brain. 그쪽 같은 아이였달까요? Hmm, he was quite the special child. I do not believe that I would have become a chief butler had it not been for him. Oh, 참 사랑스러운 아이였어요. Yes, she had much practice. Jack, just just knocking out babies. Ah, what a lovely boy he was. Although, I guess they didn't receive him when he was an infant, if this is like a book. Um, lovely, quite. <laughs> Still no combat. Combat? Nope, still no combat. Woo! Let's go! More reading. I mean, I already know what to expect with this game. Okay. Are you okay, Heathcliff? Nelly got you not a marathon. Gum not out of one of the body It's like. It's that classic Nelly technique. Get! Her secret technique to send us hurtling into the dreamlands. <laughs> they said that again. Been a while. These people should just produce movies. Um, I think they had a show or something, but the deal fell through. They they wrote a book. 
I haven't read it yet. I'm terribly sorry, Heathcliff. I was avoiding... I was hoping to avoid having to use the sleepy smack on you and not after a reunion like this. Like I said, the, the super hard parts of this game are pretty good. But yeah, overall, the game play, game, in my opinion, I, I think it's boring as hell. Just, it's literally because it's not hard enough, which means you don't have to learn the game, which is the fun part because it's a strategy game. And uh, I have yet to use much strategy except good units go. Combat probably won't come until a couple of nodes later. Yeah, Spearhead, the, the combat, we, I mean, we're already in this story, but I can show you some combat. It's just me pressing two buttons and it's not timed or anything. Sounds very casual of you, Challenger Andy. You, you can't. It's just the fact that I'm so good at this game that it doesn't even look like a challenge. I'm terribly sorry, Heathcliff. I was hoping to avoid having to use the sleepy smack on you and not after a reunion like this. Is it true, Nelly? Is Catherine really gone? It looks so weird with his hair like this. Yes. And Miss Catherine wrote your name into her will. Oh. <laughs> it's just like off to the side, it just says Heathcliff and that's it. Her will, huh? We should at least give it a listen to hear why she mentioned Heathcliff. Heathcliff sat down word wordlessly. Oops. So was this manor Miss Catherine's? Well, it used to be Miss Young Master Hindley's once, then. Catherine, that shrew, she stabbed me in the back. Why don't you elaborate on that injustice, Linton? Share the tale of how Catherine and Linton Edgar stabbed me in the back. Huh, Linton? How the pair of you destroyed me. There is no injustice. It was done in a perfectly legal manner. Bring the case to T Corp. Courts, if you wish. It will change absolutely nothing. The Ufi Association fixer, carrying a piece of paper, stepped in between Hindley and Linton as two men continued to growl at each other as the two men. <laughs> To be fair, they had to make this game more accessible to casuals and mobile friendly. That's why we have brain dead human battles too. Yeah, but then they should just ramp up the fucking difficulty. Man, dude, salty. It's just a house. <laughs> don't, don't start. I'm already thinking about Jasper. I'm getting pissed again. Uh, the allotted recess has expired. We will now, we will now proceed to the inheritance bequeathment will reading. This is the will of the deceased. It has been verified via multiple tests and screenings that no counterfeiting or tampering of a similar nature has occurred. If they're verifying it, if it's a counterfeit or not, who verifies if they're not just straight up lying about it? GQ. Maybe it's just a standard industry practice? Miss Miss Catherine has requested that this letter be read in audience of the three attendees. 모두의 앞에서 낭독하라 하셨습니다. Before the bequeathment of personal property commences. I will now read the full, 
I will now read the full contents of her will. At last. Heathcliff is like, I can hear her voice! You're all gathered here. My only wish is that my words will be met with respect, without hostility among you. Yeah, sure. I hope that literally Umineko, I don't know what that is. I hope that none of you become incensed during this occasion. It's my one and only funeral after all. Funny. I am at peace. There is no pain, no suffering where I am. So do not consider my death a tragic one. Heathcliff's like, oh, okay, right, yeah, I don't care about you. Because by the time you're hearing this, I must have reached my own heaven, wow. This is not to say that you mustn't let sorrow into your hearts. Weep, if you will. So that I may feel your grief and know that you have all truly loved me. We already failed at no hostility, it's Jover. Zuriel? What? Well, I do think they should unnerf Canto 5 now. Oh. That they've added the dungeon changing like they said they would. I don't think keeping nerfing content, con content is correct. Oh, keep nerfing content. Wuthering Heights, an old and desolate manor. I was always, I've always been afraid of this place. Fear and nightmares would consume me every night. Don't listen to Linton. He said every second was happiness. Fear and nightmares every night. But now that I stand before the end of my life, I've come to accept this manner for what it is. This manner, which I will leave. Oh. So they were. At, she was actually going to say that. I was going to make a joke. To my husband. Linton Edgar. Yes! <laughs> and then he's like already writing the will. <laughs> he's writing the, his will as he hears this. Keep this manor and remember me by its presence. What the fa damn it? Linton, you cock. <laughs> and my brother, Hindley, my one and only brother. Yes! I knew I'd be in there somewhere. Hindley's legs began to shake nervously, so did his voice. Oh, I thought... Wait. Are they... Is, is she giving it to both of them, or...? I don't think so. I heard that you are mired in quite the heavy debt. And that you have been spending most of your days drinking and gambling. <laughs> He's still wearing that face while hearing this. He's like, yeah? My bitch sister took my fucking house, I swear. So I... Come on, Catherine. Something is... So I'll give you a word of advice. Stop drinking. Heathcliff. <laughs> oh Get fucked! I knew it! Signed you up for- I only knew it because right when she said- He said this, he just flagged himself. Signed you up for the Abyss Trauma Correctional Facility at M Corp. 
이 말을 듣고 일주일 내에 방문을 해서 서류를 접수하지 않으면 If you don't visit the facility within one week after attending this will reading, my body will rise and follow you and self-destruct. 그쪽에서 오빠를 찾으러 직접 방문할 거야. They will come to take you in. Oh hell no, I do not trust a correctional facility in the city, right? I wonder what a this trauma center looks like. Probably like Bethlehem Asylum. Nah, it's worse. It's definitely worse. <laughs> <laughs> Trolling her brother in the will. I truly hope that your heart will be healed, dear, dear brother. <laughs> No, that's absolute nonsense. How the hell am I even supposed to get to M Corp in a week? Oh no! <laughs> of course, I've already prepared a warp trade ticket to M Corp for you. So please don't worry about the travel fees. Well, they better hope they have enough money to get on the good part. <laughs> Otherwise, they are fucked. <laughs> I mean, they're not fucked, but you know, they're fucked. Woohoo rehab and warp train. <laughs> yeah. No, this is a load of shite. It's just 10 seconds. I, I wonder, I wonder if it's a ticket in first class. Yeah, they probably have the high class tickets. <laughs> also, I'm sorry, but the the rehab the rehab program was really expensive so we got you a business class we got you big business class on the warp train because we had to pay the expenses for the rehab should another instance of disturbance to the execution of this will occur we will take forth, we will take forth full action without warning <laughs> How, how dare you, you plebs. And you, Heathcliff. <laughs> Welcome home. Yes, she, I'm... Boom, and then the, the oofy guy just, like, fucking knocks him. The, the music. The <laughs> Once the seventh strike of lightning falls upon this manor, my golden bow will be yours. What? Hmm? What? <laughs> what? The mere mention of golden bow suddenly intensified the sensation I felt er earlier. I definitely sensed that the golden bow was located somewhere within this manor. With this manor. <laughs> Dante. But I already figured that the golden bow was somewhere in here. I've known that ever since we stepped foot in this manor. I mean, you basically know that any time we go somewhere, so. Yet I couldn't quite pin pat it, pinpoint its exact location because... I will leave my golden bow to you, Heathcliff. The golden bow was her personal property, not even her estates or her family's, just her. It'll be fine, warp trains get anywhere in 10 seconds, so there's no need to worry. Right, there's no need. Let's be real, who would buy the first class ticket for a man going to rehab? <laughs> Seventh strike of lightning? What do you think that means? I don't think it's a fucking metaphor, Sinclair. Shut up. It's not a golden bow. Right, I, I noticed that too. It's my golden bow. What the bloody hell is that supposed to mean? What? There's more than one here? Oh, that's not...
That's not what I got from that, but okay. Dun dun day. You can okay. That's not clear from that sentence, but it's not how I understood it. Dun day. Are you alright? There is a second golden bow in this manner. Yeah. She probably doesn't know about the warp trains. No one knows about the warp trains except like barely anyone unless something happened in arena which if the case is that don't tell me no this isn't at all what i i come back kathy please hear my voice just this once kashi that's the first lightning strike heathcliff will deny kathy three times <laughs> will deny kathy's death three times before uh, the cock crows, the seventh lightning strike strikes. I'm serious. Oh, Nelly, this room is haunted. I saw a ghost. It's like a tiny Again with this, Miss Kathy? What did I say? I told you. I would thrash that evil ghost and hang them to dry on the rack. Damn! Ghosts aren't real. She's a big liar. I'm not lying. I'm sorry, children. Have you been waiting long? Dad, where's my violin? I got you this child instead. I call him Hithakalupushifi. What about my X-Corp all-purpose wrench? Again, I am sorry. I did not have the time, uh, the room for the violin or the wrench. This is the only part of the book I read. What room? Ugh. What's that? It is a child. What's that dirty rag? Ew. <laughs> Something about him is just funny. I found this child dying alone in the streets. He was without parents or a home. That boy would have surely died in weather like this. Look how peeved he is. Henley. Thus Henley gets swindled. Yet again, the fault lies with you, Heathcliff. Andy laughs at poor people? I was laughing at the rest of them. Bible reference. <laughs> I feel like the high class people gotta know that the warp trains. Otherwise there'd be no reason to buy a first class ticket since it's only 10 seconds. I assume that they're rich people and the it's the stereo, it's the rich people stereotype where it's more money so it must be good. And not the sometimes things that are more expensive are worse kind of logic that ain't my violin dad what the fuck this is basically what happened in the book in the three chapters i read <laughs> so what i don't want that gross dirty heath bar looking ass looking kid living here ha huh, heath bar that's a great name he was hanging off a cliff yeah, Heathcliff. Yeah, I want my violin. Throw that thing out. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Shadow person Heathcliff. What are you gawking at? <laughs> violin. I want... My violin. Bro really said throw out my throw out that child? I mean yeah, he's the spoiled rich kid. Papa, why was he all alone in the streets? <laughs> because someone else's Hinley threw him out there. Because there wasn't anyone to take care of him. Poor child. There are other children like him in the back streets. 
no parents or relatives to look after them, no homes to shelter them. I interviewed each one of them and only selected the best. This is him. Then what does he have now? Well, Kathy. Now he's got us to look after him. And this place as his home. No, I don't want that ugly thing. <laughs> so you're saying that you don't want to have him, right? The fuck? Does it... What the? Man, Hindley was spoiled in book and in Limbus, right? Yeah. To be fair, in the in there is a theory that the book Heathcliff was Mr. Earnshaw's bastard the son in the book. Oh. I guess... Yeah. I, I guess. If I remember correctly, the dad, like, turned on him. Like, when he got older. And then died. <laughs> Winds howling. I can hear something wailing. Its cries echoing through the manor ha halls. I hear it too, miss. Close the windows. There's a nip in the air outside. Do you remember still? As a child, you were terribly afraid of these howling winds. That you're seeing ghosts. Nelly, I see them still. Miss, you've grown far too weak ever since Heathcliff departed the manor. That is why you are seeing things. <coughs> that is all right, Nelly. I no longer fear the ghosts. Because all fear stems from the ignorance of its origin. Like when I fear an oncoming car, the only reason I fear it is because I just wonder what garage did that car come from? But once you understand whose, whose garage it came from, you will no longer fear the oncoming car in traffic. Where do you suppose he is, Heathcliff? Miss? He doesn't have anything left. I am everything he has. Oh, okay, bitch. He has his Limbus friends! <laughs> Spearhead, you still here? Here, here. I'll show you- I'll- 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 I'll show you some combat real quick. I have to do my Lux. My XP Lux. Gotta make sure I do. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll show you some combat real quick. This is what you're missing out on. Behold. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Don't worry about it. My numbers are higher than them in every way, so I win. And? <laughs> the cycle begins again. And I win. <laughs> Holy, I'm so stimulated by these animations and gameplay and the numbers on the screen. Don Key is cute. I know, yeah, Don Key cute. Don Key cute. 
See, the benefit is when we're in the story, it'll be Sora related, but it's still gonna be P, enter. <laughs> and then I just sit back and watch because my units are so absurdly good that I just win. And this game's too easy. Me and my endorphins when I see big numbers. Me when Dawn does rip space. When W Dawn does rip space on a staggered enemy with over 10 charge. I think the highest value I've ever got is 400. I know they had a, they had blade lineage and assault doing like 1700 or some bullshit. Fucking Angela is just reading paragraphs. Angela! Oh yes! <laughs> Shoot my dawn. So I want you, I want you to imagine that amount of time that's going to happen in between one of these half hour segments and then it will continue with Cool. Well, there's my experience, Dungeon Done. Oh, and the rest of all of those. And let's get the last one. Yay, I'm done for the day. All my dailies are complete. Easy. Oh, actually, they're not, because I still have to do the rest of the threads. She's just a visual novel. The totally batshit storyline. Yeah, this one is much more visual novel-y. Is that blood? Oh, are we already in the fucking dungeon? Really? What just happened? Everything went dark for a second. Oh. I think I think the lightning I think the lightning caused a brief power outage that's right I forgot the power went out power's back now though why are we in a different room what we just saw were oh so we did see the memory so we okay or rather I guess we're not in a dungeon it's just the bow is Catherine's memories right Oh, he was like, fuck the clothes. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I think so. I can't wait for the resolution of this canto, where instead of revenge, it says hope. Meaningful. I think so. As it has been in the past, such occurrences can be attributed to the influence of the Golden Bow. Yeah, we already know. Faust, Hold on, this place. This is the corridor we walked through earlier, isn't it? This isn't where we. This isn't where we were before the power outage, right? I don't see Hindley or Linton anywhere either. Oh my word. What just happened? But we didn't like take a step or anything, did we? Yeah, Yi Sang's fight had like 70 fights without a story. Yeah, it had a bunch. I'm glad we're getting less here's a fight without a story. Right, yeah, that I, I don't like that. That's that's stupid. End of Canto, where Heathcliff says, good job, team, we really are l a Limbus company. Did you see that Reddit post where he made, like, a fake Canto 6 and it was all of that? I think it, I think it was the, what I just said, where it's like, it's like, you're alone, Heathcliff. And I was like, no, I have my Limbus company friends. And then Heathcliff swung his bat and revenge turned to hope. <laughs> it's so bad. Hmm. He's saying... He, he said that he said hmm. isn't that that almost sounds like a line he says during gameplay hmm I do not believe that any of our fellows have moved ah, I love how he says fellows 
If we were standing still, then I suppose this means that the house, it's the house that moves. Thanks you. Thank you, Hong Lu. Fuck off. But I don't go up so Nelly. What the Know anything about this Nelly? I haven't the slightest idea. Should make that of a random mod. I've been away from this manor for many years myself. I seldom have had I seldom had any reason to return. Oh, okay. Ever since Miss Catherine married Mr. Linton and left this place to live with him. Oh. I I thought they were living in this mansion. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. 그 고인이 된 캐서린이라는 분이 워더링 하이츠 저택을 샀다고 하지 않았나? Oh my gosh, they are like straight. They are like they have the same eyes almost. They they are like the same person. They are so alike it's insane. They they just templated. Look, look, her arms right her right there, her arms right there. Her arms to her side, her arms to her side. They they it's just it's just Otis. Catherine, the deceased. Didn't someone mention that she purchased this manor, Wuthering Heights? 네. 하지만 사기만 하고 Wuthering Heights로 바로 이사를 하진 않으셨어요. Hong Lu is really smart, but the way he says, he says in a way that makes him sound dumb, right? Well, to be frank, her hands at a different angle. Two hags on the screen. My dream came true. <laughs> yes, indeed. But she did not immediately move here after the purchase. Oh, I don't know what I'm Oh, now that you mention it, I see that some changes have been made to this manor since I was gone. Did you like just fucking get here? I guess so. Nelly was probably referring to the numerous exposed ch cables, holes, blood, blood trails, and cracks that seemed to have been painted over. Had I been the chief butler of this manor, I would not have let such slovenliness slide. But... Maybe she was trying to make modifications to the manor? Wait, Nelly's a hag? Nelly helped raise Heathcliff? She's old? Well, in the book, she was like a teen when she raised Heathcliff? So she's not like that old, but I don't know. Yeah, she's probably in her early 30s. But who knows if it's the same in this. Is it normal for rich folks to just buy a whole manor and modify it to their liking? Mm, the episode of Health Splitters Hmm. I'd say it's kind of like changing your hairstyle once in a while. Maintaining the exact same hairstyle, same style of hair for too long gets pretty boring, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh so that's how uh casual a full-on house remodeling is like for rich folks i see Heathcliff. Heathcliff <sighs> i hardly know what to tell you i do not know what words could possibly comfort you now but what you said about Miss Catherine's death, and how you didn't believe that she was truly dead. Oh. 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 I gave that idea some thought. And I agree, to an extent. The fuck do you mean? You just thought that? What? And then his bat changes to hope. <laughs> Heathcliff's pupils suddenly dilated. Like, all of his eye. 
Even I haven't seen Miss Catherine's body. I was so beside myself when Master Linton told me of Miss Catherine's passing that I did not even care to verify it with my own eyes. Did they really have to use this m music here? Like, this music should just stay where it belongs, which is in Mirror Dungeon. <laughs> So what you're trying to say here is, there's hope? Uh, is it really what I think it is? You're saying that Kathy might still be alive? Nothing but a suspicion at this point. Besides, you know how Miss Catherine can be. Stubborn as a mule, sometimes doing things so unexpected they're almost frightening. Honestly, I even wondered if this whole funeral business was but an awful elaborate jest from the mist. I want the next I want the next frame to be Heathcliff with the eyes but with a smile like <laughs> it's just like those same eyes, but with a smile. An open mouth smile. <laughs> if this is a, if this is a joke, I ain't fucking laughing. <laughs> Kathy is a certified prank YouTuber. They don't call it a f funeral for nothing. <laughs> he didn't even say anything. <laughs> What's certain is, however, that the will was undeniably in her own handwriting. <clears throat> and Master Linton, he never once stopped making modifications to the manor. Kathy does a little manipulation. Even after Miss Catherine passed. That bastard Linton made these modifications to the manor? We do a little bit of trolling. A little trolling. Yes, I haven't got a good look at this place, nor do I personally ask him of his motives, but... It is quite evident that something is to transpire here, isn't it? Or that something has had already happened? Bollocks, I don't understand any of this. What do you think the lightning in her will is talking about? Maybe she meant it literally, seven lightning strikes. Well, now that Ishmael said that, now I don't believe it's literal. I don't know. Are you suggesting that she knew we would arrive precisely under this weather on the day of her funeral? Didn't... I, I forgot. I, I may be misremembering, but didn't we already, like conclude that the lightning was man-made and a defense system? Was that? Otis, are you stupid? Is she stupid? Unless she moonlighted as a renowned prophet, I don't see that happening. I can't remember if they actually decided that or not. Who knows? I don't even understand what Miss Catherine was trying to do here with that will. Well, you know, give away her estate. Send her brother on a warp train and uh, give us the bow. So, three simple things, Gregor. Right, we can't ever know the will of the dead. Um, it's called a will for a reason. What? Oh, oh, I see. You're all idiots. Perhaps there's something, a clue, to be found in Miss Catherine's room? 
아가씨는 결혼하신 후에도 종종 워더링 하이츠를 방문했으니까요. 방에 뭔가를 두셨을지도 모르잖아요. Thor got drunk and dropped his hammer seven times that day. She did visit Wuthering Heights from time to time, even after her marriage to Miss Linton. They said that it wasn't natural, but that it'd be, it would be weird and incredibly inefficient and pricey as a man-made defense system. Right, I do remember that. They just got that cloud abnormality up there doing shit. What DS3 mod is this? The one that makes the story interesting. But just, but similarly convoluted, a little less convoluted than DS3. Don't you remember Heathcliff? Miss Catherine. Yeah. She always liked riddles. They captured the electric sheep. Yeah. Not like, not like you who preferred a more direct approach. Which involves smashing everything to pieces. Got me in plenty of trouble for trying to brute force problems without even trying to think about the intent. A faint smile appeared on Heathcliff's uh, face as he seemed to recall a fond memory. What color is the electric sheep Angela sees? Purple, of course. Angela! <laughs> I don't know if it's... I don't know if I've gotten any better since then. But the heavy, somber expression soon returned. Dante! I guess our next order of things is to find where that room is. Kathy's room. Are we not gonna talk about the fucking... Is, is that not blood? Combat? <gasps> Spearhead, it's combat after a story. Level 40 difficulty. Um, let's use my mirror dungeon. Wait, where is my team? Oh no, I don't have a team. It's because I changed this to be a, to people I want to upgrade thread on or up tie. Wait, okay. Um, team is made. I don't really want you though. Well, maybe. Red paint for the re renovations? I, I know he said he painted, but... Oh, <laughs> I, I, sp I spy? Is that... What is that word? Blood everywhere on the floor. Well, <laughs> it's not paint. <laughs> it's just wine stain, don't worry. I doubt anything nice went down here, that's for sure. Do you like how you can see the weaknesses of the stage? Oh, they did that? Shit, I didn't even look. Well, that's fine. Oh, that won't be an issue, probably. And I doubt there's anyone nice down there. Down here, either. Look. Get back. Back off, you dogs. Have you any inkling of who I am? Speak plainly, Hindali. Angela, what have you what have you done to this manor? Hindley going bananas. Hells, I do not know. I'm just as lost as you are. Nelly, get these brutes off me. What are y'all doing here? My, my. If it isn't Nelly, the vagabond child and his gang of invited, uninvited guests. Um, actually, we have an invitation right here. Oh, I guess only Heathcliff was invited, though. <laughs> is she talking about us? Or is she on? What the fuck? What, what do you mean? Josephine, of course she is. A spy to catch sight of, learn something new. Blunt week? Oh, well, that's my specialty. I keep forgetting they gender bent old Joseph. Yeah, from the, uh, the little I read about him in the book, uh, I hate him and her, probably. 
Although she sounds like Ahab to me. Josephine, something is terribly wrong with this manor. Is there anything you know about this? Wuthering Heights has always been like this. More importantly, how dare ye bring those louts to this place? Mistress would have had ye whipped had she been here to witness this desecration. Yeah, Josephine's an actual hag. Like, she should be pretty damn old. We are in the dark as much as you are. Everyone was displaced when the lights flickered. Besides, what is all this noise? How are you still unaware? The dead rabbit louts and the butlers are battling in all corners of this manor. Ripping, tearing, biting. Oh, what I wouldn't give to have them all kill each other until they lay dead. They're fighting? But why? You're, you're curious to see what the combat looks like in this game? Oh, don't expect much, trust me. After the lightning struck, after the lights flickered, the dead rabbits suddenly charged us. Hindili. That fool must be scheming to take over our manor. She was like fucking paranoid, right? In the book. What in the blazes? And she was like, uh, like Old Testament Bible he in the book. What in the blazes? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Do you fail to heed the voice of Wuthering Heights? The voice of the mistress? Okay, Grandma, take your pills. Yeah, she was crazy in the book. What the bloody hell do these out-of-control dead rabbits have to do with me? I haven't even given them any orders. Oh. <sighs> Nelly, is there something you can do to de-escalate this? We'd rather not get involved in something like this. Is she the tallest? I forgot. I keep thinking about that. Josephine and those butlers, didn't they serve Hindley once? It's either her Their service is to Wuthering Heights and Wuthering Heights only. Second tallest. Strictly speaking, Josephine and her butlers are bound to a contract different from mine. Our salt ones, yeah. I am contracted with a specific person within the family, while they are contracted with the manor and the estate itself. Wow, okay, I get wanting to work for a rich family to make yourself some dough, but is such a complicated contract worth it for butlers who are bound to the manor and its land? That depends on the terms of their contract. Once they have completed their duties as butlers, which may be over a set period of time or over specific conditions stipulated in the contract. They may be able to raise their fixer grades or gain the rights to certain valuable assets tied to the land itself. Therein lies the irony. Butlers bound to manors and estates often inherit their parents' careers and contracts. Sometimes it continues for generations upon generations. 
until the initial contract is eventually forgotten. Uh, really? What if they forget what the contract was even about? <laughs> Still, the contract isn't voided merely because people stop remembering it. Breaking it might invite the taboo hunters from an unexpected nest or fixers from the Ufi Association we had the pleasure of meeting earlier. And that Josephine is obsessed with following the long dead mistress's orders and won't listen to anyone else. She's long dead? You know me well, Nelly. Well enough, well enough to get out of my way while I remain courteous. Do not get in my way of punishing this rat that dared to scheme to take our weathering heights from us. <laughs> sure thing, we'll just go, okay? Let's pretend we didn't see anything. Oops. I'm locking the door now, Heathcliff. You don't deserve to come indoors. Do you really think a th that a thing like your s you deserve to sit next to our family, to dine alongside us? Oh. The long dead mistress is Mrs. Earnshaw, Kathy's mother, right? Stay put in the barn. If I see you wandering in the living rooms without my permission, I'll... I hear Hinley's voice echoing from Heathcliff's memories. Tick. This revenge may not be so difficult after all. We just had to pretend we didn't see anything, leave Hinley behind and have Josephine and her butlers take care of him for us. Even if he does put up a fight, there is no telling how long he could hold out against all of them without backup. <sighs> I can feel Heathcliff turning slightly to look in my direction. I'm sure he's thinking the same thing I am. No clock face, I won't have him die. You won't? I won't. Because Kashi wouldn't have wanted me to abandon that sod to die by their hands. Not like this. She would much rather him, uh, prefer him to go on the warp train, go into rehab, and then get crushed in the face with my bat. Harmless little prank. Alright, I'm back after sending a bunch of boring emails. Well, look. Combat. Why do they? Well, why do they not have eyes? Angela, shut the fuck up. Hostile butler, hostile trained. Destroy them. Go keep flip. <laughs> Let's go visual novel over. Just for those of you who don't know, there's two different types of combat in this game. This is the boring kind, and also the kind where you have very limited control. You can select between two attacks for each character, or a defense move, or a super move. Uh, you do not get to decide who attacks who, though. In the other combat style, which is much more fun and involved, uh, you get to decide who, what, where you attack. And it makes it more interesting. Whereas here, you're just kind of locked in to whatever the game rolls. There are, you can use a strategy in here, but usually these fights especially are so easy that you never use the strategy. But then the strategy just usually 
gets into nuances be, um, of how you can influence timing and defense and stuff. Or you can just press P and enter endlessly and then you win. You can also do the damage option that does max damage and it's virtually the same exact thing. You can't see it here. This is what I'm selecting. See it says win rate. So it chooses the most successful thing to win a clash. Or I can choose damage, which does the most damage. But because all of their options are already locked in, as in who they're going to attack, and because they only have two different options to attack, it's almost always the same thing. But we, we like to click win rate instead because of how the rest of this game fucking works. Which has to do with sanity mechanics, which is the probability that you will flip a head rather than a tails when you are determining the number of your attack. Holy shit. You gotta keep him alive so he can experience the warp train. I have a feeling that the warp train will take longer than 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I don't know what you mean. It takes only 10 seconds. <laughs> I got bad news. The next six of, or seven fights are this kind of. Bad news for everyone else. I literally do not <laughs> Basically, if we get a focus fight, that's just bonus. And then I can actually talk about what I'm doing rather than pressing P and win rate, not even looking at the screen. <laughs> I was gonna say I can do a super move for the other, the other people that haven't seen this game, but um, I already won. Can't do that. <laughs> and they, yeah. All right, fight over, combat over, back to more story, probably. Oh no, it's just a fight. Dang. Quarter two. Well, let's press P and enter more. Like I said, I mainly play this game for the characters, the dialogue, or the voice acting, and the story. And the music. Music's well, I, I, I wouldn't say I play it for the music, because I can just get the music out there. Only about 5% of this game is actually like fun gameplay. And it's all the end game content or like a random hard fight in the story. Oh my gosh! Nope. Nope, nope, she won. <laughs> that was close. Not that it would have mattered. As with four points effective. Yeah, I actually, I actually saw it this time. I'm just not gonna care until I lose. If it's a focus fight, I'll probably care more before going in. Oh my gosh, Don, please. No. <laughs> Five roll, fucking rip space. Oh, actually it's funny. Cause if you're in like, kind of high stress situations, my team is one of the rare teams where you can't just press win rate and win simply because I have Dawn. Because you have to make sure she doesn't have her use her purple move before she's got 10 charge. Wait, oh wait. I just noticed he still has a debuff or a buff. I gotta look at it. But it's like a heartbroken buff. I heard uh, that buff really buffs uh, Sun Downer or Sun Chow, 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 Chow some whatever his ego is or something. Or no, his... Is it an ego or is it a ID? Let's look at his Bereavement. Turn in at negative 15% or negative 15 or higher SP. Lose 10 SP. Oh, that explains why he's at negative 17. Win hit, lose 2 SP, and gain 1 offense level next turn. Maximum 3 times per turn. At turn start, at less than 3, or at less than 0 SP gain for you. Back up. So he's more, he's unstable, but he's got offense up. Basically. I'm not worried. Yeah, that debuff made Hobo, he put his system good. You could lose, but your challenger and the infallible. I would only lose because I'm not. 
It's very rare that you would lose a story fight. There's maybe like six fights in this entire story of like 400 stages that I've lost once. Here, for everyone here, um, what would be a good one? Wait, you have a new one? Oh, I just got this. I haven't seen this one. Let's see what this looks like. Do you have a new one too? No, I didn't. He does have a new one, but I didn't put it on. The music slaps. Did I give you a new one? No. Um... I haven't seen this one. If you said sundown, if we finish the GRR. So the buff no longer hides it. He lost after a certain time. A lot of people didn't notice and lost in this fight because they kept using the sun shower. Oh, sun shower. Second half of this Kanto is full of focus battles. Oh, cool. <laughs> It's a great buff for some sort I do, but that idea is bad most of the time. So buffing just made it normal. Right. I was just reading something on the Reddit. Okay, I haven't seen this yet. Holy shit, 27? That's pretty decent. Cool. That's just a up tie one, so. I really like. Is it dicey or DC? DC nuts. I really like her animations. They're fun to watch. <laughs> yes! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, the double, the double fire! So that attack? Once you get it high enough, it's a 50-50 chance that she shoots, like, all of your teammates. She's still, like, literally one of the best IDs you could possibly get. Common shootist, man. Shouldn't Overclock for that one is really good, you should go for it. Can I overclock? Not yet. I can overclock if I get one more envy, right? Oh, this is a wave three? Oh, shit. This is wave three. Wait, hold on. See, I don't really know what egos are good in terms of damage. Hers is shit, but it has really high roll. Hers is shit. This one is can be really good. I don't really know how good that is. This this has super high roll. This is pretty good. This does a lot of damage. I want to not redo this stage. Um, hers is shit. Uh, when you his his is rather decent. Um. I use it again. Oh, damn it. <laughs> um, why don't you do this? You do it again? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Fuck him up. Andy, their resistances? Oh, Sorry. Sonyata is good. I think most of them are, bl are, are blunt that I chose. Sonyata is... Oh, sun showers. So, for anyone wondering why I'm actually giving effort, it's because if you win in under 10 turn, term, turns, you get a bonus. It's a one-time bonus. Oh, wait, that's her. I didn't even notice she's there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't see the boss. I like that we get all the fellows under the umbrella. 153 is fine. Kill her, Heathcliff! Kill her! I don't think I got the bonus for this one. I don't know if I can. Oh no, wait, I forgot. This isn't focused, so I have a million attacks. Oh my gosh, no fucking damage.
직원들이 우세한 환경에 있습니다. 관리자님이 제 말을 집중해서 듣고 있었다는 결과겠죠. 이런 과정들을 흉틀어 신뢰라고 부른다고 하더군요. 긍정적인 변화는. If this unit speed is faster than the target, flash power plus two, heal ten, SP when every coin of attack still flips heads. She's at negative thirty. <laughs> That's not happening. That that is not happening. Do the overclock, Don Sheep Ego? I don't think I can. Can I? Okay, I will. It's only up by one. Um, can I do any more damage? I always think this is shit. I need to uptie it one more so it gets the, uh, the increased weight. That's about, this is about the best I can do. Yeah, let's see what the overclock looks like. Yes. Maybe I can still win this in 10 turns. I should have made sure that Dawn didn't have a rip space available. Get fucked. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Raining indoors, yeah. I think Sonyata's pretty good. It can do a lot of damage sometimes. <laughs> oh, she's doomed. She's fucking doomed. 16. Oh. Ah, not that much damage. Oh, she's so fucked. She's so fucked. <laughs> Good job, Otis. <laughs> Double staggered. I think I've only seen a triple stagger once on an enemy. Sheepdown's pretty cool. Um, oh. Yeah, another fight? And a story. Hate to see two hags fighting. <laughs> Wait, hold on. See, I never pay attention to these. They've I've never had to. Um, in terms of like fighting. I understand sort of how they work, but I've never had to pay attention to it to actually do well. Is this what I want my team to be? Can I yeah, this is pretty good. Although I don't know if she's better than Twin Hook, because Twin Hook's pretty good. Hmm, I don't know. I'm sure I won't have, like, serious issues, but... Whatever. Understood, mistress. I shall do as you command. I shall distort right now. I mean, peace are going to bed. See you at Dogma Balls tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out, Meg. We will not waste any more time here. Let's go clear out the dead rabbit's rabble. We'll put the rest of you in the bin should our paths cross again. Josephine, I don't, I, think, I don't think you literally got a single hit in. I think we fucking stunlocked you. Tisk. Henley didn't even show a hint of gratitude. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I could Well, I could have handled them all on my own. I didn't need your help to beat up some old insane hag and her pawns. Maybe we should have just left them behind. Kurigo Niga Hyongnimirago Kor Sanapgetarn. 
이름도 잘못 기억하고 있는 주제에 우회 좋은 척은 다 하더군. And that boss of yours, you don't even remember his name properly, do you? So much for your loyalty. Inley's still salty about that violin. He definitely is. Rage slowly returns to Heathcliff's face and draws a deep crease between his brows. Oh, unless it means right there. What dodgy nonsense are you blathering about? He goes by Matt, not Matt who Whatever you decided to call him. What? What? What are you? Have you finally gone mad? I've known the gaffer for years. You'd think I'd get his name wrong? <laughs> Faust knows that you got his name wrong. Besides... <laughs> that insane old hag still has some of her wits about because I do intend to take this manor back, no matter what! <laughs> I almost had it. If only I hadn't gotten that confounded card in that round. Insert laughter here. Hindley would have resorted to violence. Funny. Funny, here's your laugh. No, the game must have been rigged. That's the only way this makes sense. Nothing else explains how Catherine could have had the funds so ready to purchase Wuthering Heights the moment it was put up for sale at the auction. You lost his manor in a gamble? And Catherine bought it back? Yes! <laughs> That girl was always as insane as Josephine. Just keeping the manor. Guess keeping the manor just wasn't in the cards. <laughs> but mark my words, Wuthering Heights shall be mine again. Matt's made a deal with me. It's pretty sad Hindley got royally flushed there. He needs to learn some manners. He promised to help me retrieve this manor as long as I let him and his dead rabbits into Wuthering Heights. Mr. Hindley, wait, where are you going? You didn't seriously expect me to be cozy with you lot after that, did you? I mean, you could have faked it. You, you could have faked it and not told us any of your plan and we would have been, like, none the wiser. I swear Andy's losing sanity with these puns. Sounds like an important matter to him. I'll find Matt. And I'll do everything I can to make this place mine again. <laughs> Don't be so quick to assume that you've really changed, Heathcliff. <laughs> you haven't. You simply can't change. You're nothing but a ragged sack of waste. Don't you forget that. What an asshole. <laughs> He's not gonna make up with Heath. The sinner should really take a hint, Lee. Uh, 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 
Ahem, <clears throat> Sir Heathcliff, I'm, I'm quite unsure as to how much of my words my, may reach thine ears, given thy fury, but... <laughs> Some sinners attempted to cheer Heathcliff up, who would normally be seething with anger upon hearing abuse like that, but this was different. It wasn't anger. Back then, whenever I heard that kind of contemptuous shite from that bastard, it felt as though every word he spat out rang true. That I really was just a useless lowlife who deserved nothing but the rags. But now, I have Limbus company. I spent days and nights coming up with all kinds of ways I'd exact my revenge on him. But now it's... <sighs> Bloody hell, I can't even put this feeling to words. Will we end on a Heath cliffhanger today, I wonder? I can go an extra, like, half hour. It's- it's Limbus. It's gotta be a long stream anyway. He's the one that couldn't change, not you. Look at him, clinging desperately to his past, like it's the only thing he's got. Revenge! Ahab! The Whale! <gasps> what did you say, Ishmael? He's just... He's just like an immature kid who never get, grew up past ten. Where is Catherine's room? We would do well to be on our guard in this manner. We must always be wary of our surroundings in this field of battle. <clears throat> it should be should be there once we turn right here. Odd. I don't recall this corridor being this long. <laughs> Heavens there. Dead <laughs> hmm. <laughs> rabbits at the end of the corridor. Anyone else remember when Andy played games? Spearhead, I literally play Dragon's Dogma every Friday. I played Elden Ring twice these Mondays, and then I did the Fume Run the days before. I don't know what you want from me. Is it just me? And then I play Lethal Company on the weekends, except that's not streamed. Is it just me? Or do they look a little bit different from earlier? I'll take It's Just You for an answer, by the way. That reminds me, I heard tales from the streets about those strange wandering dead rabbits. Word on the street is that we should steer clear of the dead rabbits with red eyes. Just like the ones they have. Strange dead rabbit's henchman, says Squelch. I was looking at the weapon. Excuse me, are you looking for something or someone? <laughs> Just for your information, that Litton fella ain't here. Those butlers of Wuthering Heights ain't here either. They all went that way, past the hallway. Clearly, you got, you've got no beef with us, right? <laughs> Looks like they've got plenty of beef, beef with us. <laughs> Can they even hear what we are saying? If you have demands, then state them. If there is no room for negotiation. It's 
Squelch. They all look a bit... No, they all look completely out of it, don't they? What a shame. I, Otis, would have loved to demonstrate my excellent negotiation skills to the executive manager. Oh, thanks, Otis. <laughs> thanks, Otis. Appreciate it. Hmm. How should I go about this? <laughs> Fuck her up. Well, since we're in the boring part of the game, um, tomorrow I'm gonna be doing Dragon's Dogma. Monday is either gonna be Fume Night to uh, back to 100%. Oh, I lost a clan. Or it's gonna be uh, an Elden, Elden Ring mod, just small ones, not like ones that uh, people I know have made. Um, and then, if that happens, that will be the only time I do it, probably, and then I'll be back to Fume Night. And then this will return next Thursday. However, it might be a bit delayed. Um, it probably won't. Oh no, what am I saying? Yes, it will. It'll be delayed by maybe like 15 or 30 minutes because I have a rehearsal um, that goes until 5.30 and then it's going to take about a half hour to get back to my house. Um, so yeah. And then... And then I have a concert the week following on Thursday, but I don't know what time it's at yet. So, yeah. I was going to do a clarinet stream before this, but then I couldn't really see why people would be that interested in it. I do have it though. I'll pull it out sometime. Um, but I'm probably just going to practice that like once a week, especially since I can't tell if it's from playing today or if it's because of uh, the extreme rehearsal I had last night and the fact that my lips are dried out. But after I played clarinet, I at least couldn't immediately go back to trumpet. It felt but I'm sure that's not a problem. But, uh, in any case, I don't want to spend too much time practicing something that's not my main instrument. I should probably just take it as well off, honestly. Yeah, Spearhead, you're not even going to see the actual, like, more interesting fights in the stream, probably. The focused fights. I took her off after two battles. I don't think I've ever actually read what she said. Not often. Because at the point I got her is when I really stopped paying attention to the game. I mean, like, you know. Uh, story I always pay attention to, but like, when I got here, I was just grinding, sure. so I kind of just stopped paying attention. She just says typical Angela lines, so I saw the shrimp line. Though. Let's actually take her off. Kind of How cute. I don't understand why you're not allowed to just like name your own categories. It's kind of weird that they have this. To oh no, I didn't mean to do that. It's kind of weird that they have this category system and not just like just enter whatever you want. I don't really get it. Another fight. Would you krill to remove that shrimple line permanently? 
I don't get the big deal with the, the shrimp line. Is it just um, a reference to well cheers? You all heard that too, right? That noise every time we killed one of them. That noise beyond from beyond their mass. No, I actually didn't hear that. What I did notice is when you hit them, it had a very interesting dull sounding noise. The sound of mirrors. How the fuck would I be able to hear that when we have all these fucking numbers clashing against each other and then the stagger glass mirrors? I mean, in Korean, she makes a fish joke as well. The sound of mirrors. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. Maybe I should just make it look like you sayings. I could definitely make my hair look like that. Just need to grow it a tiny bit longer. They made a sound not unlike a shattering mirror. <laughs> Wait. Ishmael approached the dead rabbit's henchman's corpse and unmasked him. <gasps> it's Heathcliff. Wait, something's wrong. We should unmask the rest of them to get a better picture of what is happening here. Things became even more puzzling once they were all unmasked. Sup, cool dog. Change your profile picture. I don't want to judge a book by its cover, but... <laughs> Hardly do they appear to be members of a violent backstreet syndicate. I can tell from their build that none of them were ever part of a syndicate. They look more like civilians. But they attacked us first, right? We were just... Eyes up. More dead rabbits, red eyes, all of them. Hark, heed my words. Whatever is thy... Squelch. I don't think this is the best time uh, to attempt the diplomatic approach. Yep. Get him. I thought at first I just did a first turn rip space and I was about to fucking cry. Again, it doesn't matter that much, but it really hurts to uh, not only waste that much time on like five coin flips, but also it's just really disheartening to see so many ones. Keep it triple, stupid. I remember when I first got this Otis, I was so worried about it. I was like, oh, I know exactly how it worked in Lobotomy Corporation. And this seems like it's going to be such a huge pain to deal with. It, it like, basically never is. 99.9% .9 of the time, it really does not matter anything it does. The only time I've had it matter is when I have Rusty commemorative coin, which doubles her... And she always like strikes first. So it's always her. And then she like shoots twice and like immediately negative sanities herself. Her face. Oh. Good. 
다시 못 살게 구는 일은 없을 것이오. <laughs> I like how it goes to Heathcliff every time. <laughs> Damn! It's getting the ship again out of him. Oh, not be one. Pionara. Oh shit! Please don't. Not my Otis. No. Here, we'll overclock this for chat member. Um, yeah, this is actually a strategic thing to do. Um, yeah, the rest of that's fine. How Kill them! I think this will stagger two of them, and I think I just win. Nope, just got that guy. Oh, that guy's so close. I still have no idea how she works. I don't understand discards in this game at all. I don't understand like when you dis when the discard happens or what. All I know is her defense seems to be insanely high. I think she can literally do more damage outside her ego. <laughs> then yeah. You go through skills twice as fast, that's it. Maybe you're talking about Discord next time, but it's not complicated. I'd be interested in learning how it works. I, I can't find really Go through skills twice as fast. I don't really get that either. I understand you pull from a set of six, and there's three commons, two uncommons, and one rare. Or three... You know what I mean. But I still don't really understand what this is. Oh! Bonus. Okay. Is this another fight? Nope. Just... Oh no, it is a fight. Um, sure, I don't care. I do it for the stream. Generally, you don't need to care about discarding, though. It uh, makes it sound way scarier. You discard the lowermost skill in the line? Oh, as opposed to, like, the ones, the third row you can see above? Heathcliff was digging through the deceased dead uh, rabbit's pockets. What are you looking for, Heathcliff? On <sighs> If it normally takes six turns to cycle through the deck, discarding each turn, you'll go through a full cycle in three turns? Oh. I guess I don't understand practically what that would do. They don't have them. The, pu the time pieces that Yi Sang mentioned earlier? Yeah. Everyone born and raised in Key Corp. Or T... T Corp carries a watch. They have to. You don't have a watch. Right. The Kuro, Ko Kuro Kumo clan officer we fought in Yongjin building was looking for a timepiece too. It's like a form of personal identification. It's something you carry around to show others you are who you are. Oh, okay. I abandoned my watch when I left T Corp, but. They don't even have their pocket watch chains with them. I thought I saw the watch and the chain on them. At least the chain. It's pretty, just, pretty much just makes you almost never have two skill ones in a line. Yeah. If they did carry a watch, we would have been able to learn at least where they were coming from. So someone either doesn't want people finding out who they are, 
or they're simply not from around here, right? I've witnessed such garb commonly worn within the T Corp territory. I have no doubts that they must be locals. There are many unanswered questions, but let us save that discussion for later. More rabbits. Oh, no. Here it is. Phew. Now that was quite the journey, wasn't it? Shall we enter? Nelly. Nelly, tell me. After I left without a word, how did Catherine fare? Uh. <laughs> of course, I know, I already know that she lives happily ever after with that sod Linton, but. Are you sure you want to know? <laughs> Damn it, I do. But I also don't. I must look so pathetic. Oops. If Kathy was here, she would have mocked me merciless, mercilessly. Would have brought to you a mirror so you can see that priceless look on your face. If I hadn't removed them all from the premises, hee haw. I'm not interested in your stupid jests. But has Catherine ever, even once, talked about me at all since I left? No. Sad Heathcliff. Of course she didn't. A witless brigand, a scoundrel like me. I'm sure it didn't matter to Catherine whether I. I wouldn't be so sure, Heathcliff. That is not what I meant. <laughs> That's not what I meant. When you left, Miss Catherine, she immediately died. <laughs> she began withering away. She skulked in her room for days upon days, refusing to eat or even speak. Then she'd suddenly grow lacrimose. That's how you say that word, right? Scream, cry, whisper to herself. Master Linton would come by to coax her, but it hardly helped matters. He just kept saying, every second is filled with happiness and joy. I knew that was bullshit. There's no way they were happy. She was so ill that I worried that we might have to start making arrangements with the mortician in advance. Andy, you're a brain doctor. What does lacrimose mean? Means like but physically and emotionally. She was so ill that I was worried that oh Maria? Okay. Really? I Catherine? She she was in that much pain? Heathcliff asks incredulously. Yes, it pained us to even watch her suffer. And one day she... Nelly, look. Linton's left a flower on her my pillow. She talks really slow. Oh, it's golden. I didn't know that spring had come to Wuthering Heights already. I suppose the snow has all but thawed, too. 
정말 낭만적인데요? 어, 어. 어, 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 정말... Is that not so romantic of him, miss? 그렇게 보일 수도. 또 엄청난 값을 치렀으려나? I suppose it could appear that way. He must have paid quite the fortune for this. 하지만 린튼이 정말 날 위해 꽃에 색을 주고 싶었다면. But if Linton truly cared for me, truly wished to return a color to a flower for my sake, then he should have brought me a violet flower. Oh, you, you spoiled bitch. <laughs> so, he did not bring this flower for my sake. This was only for his own satisfaction. 아가씨, 괜찮은 거예요? Are you okay, miss? 무슨 말을 하는 거야? 오늘만큼 상태가 좋은 날도 드문 것 같아. Whatever do you mean? I've never felt better than I do today. 나와 함께 바깥에 산책을 가지 않을래? Died soon after. 어떤 꽃들이 겨울을 이겨내고 피어났는지 하나 하나씩 봐야겠어. Walk with me, won't you? I would like to see which flowers have weathered the wintry cold and bloomed. 아가씨는 그 후로 정말 기운을 차리셨어. After that day, Miss Catherine truly appeared convalescent. 캐서린 아가씨가 다시 활기를 되찾게 되어서 모두가 기뻐했지만. Imagine choosing a flower that wasn't their favorite, and they claim you gave me this flower to fill your own ego, didn't you? I do know some crazy people like that. I bet it's purple because it reminds her of Heathcliff. We were all happy to see Miss Catherine be herself again, but... Now I think about it, it was a tad strange. She suffered months upon months from fever. How could anyone so suddenly recover from all that after a single night's repose? That is also when she purchased Wuthering Heights from Mr. Hindley Earnshaw. And started making sweeping modifications to this place. I thought the two of them had intended to return to Wuthering Heights. So I asked them what exactly they planned to do with it, but they never gave me a straight answer. <sighs> I, I'm just in, as in the dark as you are. I'm not the slightest clue. I've not the slightest clue to as what to, she was thinking. What about my letters? What? I sent her letters. I haven't been able to since I joined this company, but when I was part of that gang, <laughs> I wrote her letters, though I didn't sign my name on them or anything on them. Heathcliff, did you put an address on them? A what? <laughs> I just wanted to let her know that I was doing fine. Well, I don't recall her ever opening a letter. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. Seriously, once she had her mind set on something, no one could convince her otherwise. No one. Except you, Heathcliff. Look, there's a drill. There was a drill in that glass case, like a bunch of tools and a drill. With Clip Ushi, please win your clashes. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> there was an unopposed attack? How the fuck did that happen? D Damn! Uh, 
Jeez, I bet I could easily get pinned in all of these if I just uh, paid more attention to uh, Faust and uh, uh, Yi Sang, because then I could get their uh, their AOEs up. Damn. Where are there evil masked men in the manor? They were hired by um, the brother of who owns the manor, Master Henley Earnshaw, because he wants to take over the manor. He said initially that they were his bodyguards, but instead he hired a gang. Although there seems to be something sussy with this gang as like... They're mind-controlled civilians, it appears. Some of them. The ones with red eyes, apparently. But that is yet to be concluded. But we, we thought they were Hindley's bodyguards. And then Hindley all of a sudden started just, like, ranting about how he was going to take over the mansion and all this shit. <laughs> and we're like, all right. <laughs> cool, bro. I guess we know your entire plan now. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was a counter that happened, I see. It wasn't an unfortunate attack. That makes sense. Nice. I win. Henley's a bit dumb, but he's got the spirit. He just wants his fucking violin. He's gonna gamble the entire house away again. Just to get enough money to buy a single violin. Get him, Heathcliff. Oh, okay. You know what? Should I leave on a cliffhanger? Because we're just about to go into Kathy's room. Mm. Nah, let's see what's in the diary. This will be the last episode though. Oh my gosh, why are there so many good dudes? He wants his violin, but his dad was like, here, Henley, have a brother. And Henley was like, get that shit out of here! Last episode. For tonight. You. What are you doing? The room, now without its master, was completely turned upside down by Linton. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. And in the center of all that mess were butlers, awkwardly standing, frozen mid-movement as though they'd been caught red-handed. Also, my voice is getting tired. <laughs> I haven't talked this much since the old days of streaming. We were cleaning the room as per Master Linton's orders. Um, you were clearly ransacking the room. Chief Butler Nelly, have you seen any dead rabbits or the Wuthering Heights bandits on your way here? Oops. 아무래도 힘들리. 그놈과 작당해서 린튼 주인님을 해치려는 것 같습니다. We have good reason to believe that the Wuthering Heights butlers are scheming with that villain Hinley to harm Master Linton. 대들의 비치는 아무 이유 없이 누굴 죽이라고 덤벼든 집단이 아니야. The dead rabbits ain't the type of gang to kill people for no reason. 하지만 그 친구들이 Okay, but they did just try to kill us for no reason. I know, damn it, the boss can't be doing all this for nothing. He must have a good explanation for this. 
Just tell us what you dodgy shite were up to in Catherine's room. I thought he said doggy shite. We told you, Heathcliff. We were cleaning the room. Or have you sided yourself with the rest of those lowlifes, the dead rabbits? Like masters, like master, like butlers, eh? You're just as stupid and soft as Linton himself. That is not true! Oh! That was uncalled for. Almost like you've been reading for three consecutive hours. You're right. This dodgy shite. I mean, if you don't, if you don't like the stream, you don't have to watch. You can go look at another stream with a game you like. No, this dodgy shite you're trying to pull here is what's uncalled for. You cross the line. I'm the only one who can tell you what to do with this room. Not that posh wanka. Touches bookshelf. It's time for you to lose your lives. Yeah, basically. She's got, are those axes up there? Oh no, they're not. Anyway, it looks like I was right, just about 10 nodes, right? I'm the only one who can tell you what to do with this room, not that posh wanka. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was it, we didn't get to, it said the diary, but we're actually not doing any diary reading. Oh, we get to see what these things are. We maybe already did before, but I wasn't paying attention. She's a Toho maid. She's got the, the knives. There's Megami. Is that, how do you say glasses again? Oh, that's Japanese. So head Korean. She just evade that fucking bitch. Kill her. Oh, Saki has? Yeah, that girl. Trip, just killing six people, huh? Yeah, that's how we roll. Holy shit, whoa. That was kind of cool. Did you see what that maid did? Oh my gosh, these guys have... Oh, never mind. That was just ineffective. Actually, Dawn maybe should not be on this team. Oh, it's getting a little difficult. I have to start paying attention. She's got a broom. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll keep there getting AoE. The tides have turned. Are you losing yet? Um. Hmm, not really. But maybe I could pay more attention. See a hopeless. I noticed that earlier. Oh, it. I won this one already. Unless somehow they don't win when all the enemies are staggered. Oh, and then all the men. My sanity's all right. I win every clash, about every clash here. Do you not have the auto battle button on? I thought you said this was a clash game. You have to... You, you, there is no auto battle. What I'm doing is I have to like press two buttons to make it. It'll auto select attacks for me. But it's kind of dumb how there's no auto battle since basically, as you can see for most of this stream, all I'm doing is hitting two buttons and not thinking. Is this game good? The gameplay is not very exciting, but if you... I would only play this game if you've played Lobotomy Corporation and liked that story 
and everything. And this game has expands on that story, has really good voice acting, a really good story. The gameplay is probably the worst out of the series, in my opinion. Only the super hard fights get fun, which are rare. Like I said, Lobotomy Corporation's gameplay is nothing like this. Oh my gosh, they just killed Yisang. Oh my gosh, and they're killing Heathcliff. How do they do that? Oh, well. Well, it might not matter because I think I just staggered all of them. Do you have? You're not going to hit with it unless you already spent. Oh, she did. Well, you should. Auto battle and charge team is a disaster waiting to happen. All right, motherfucker. I wish they wouldn't do this. I can't see what this is. Oh, paper. In mobile, it's really annoying. Okay, well, that seems fine. Wow, they killed you saying, what the fuck? This game is really easy. Enemy kills best unit. Well, one of the best units, but not the most important. The most important unit is Faust, because she can heal the team. Heathcliff can also heal the team, but not as well. Faust is because of her special attack. What is this? It is Limbus Company. Um, it's the third in a series of games. You ever wonder how these guys hit you harder than Kanto 5 monsters? They had a lot of health. What's this? Organization compulsion. Gain too fragile. What? What the fuck is this terrible shit this guy's got? Also, he's dead. Yeah, I would not recommend this game without for sure playing Lobotomy Corporation. Otherwise, you get no benefit from the story and you basically just get shit gameplay and confusion. Um, but so the games go Lobotomy Corporation, which I highly recommend. Then if you like that game, there's Library of Ruina, which I'm also streaming. But um, I started playing it concurrently with this game because this game's a gotcha. So you have to wait to play, but you really don't a lot of the time, not the story. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Library of Ruina and this game are k kind of similar in gameplay. I think Library of Ruina is more fun, I'd say. Um, it's more balanced where this game is way too easy. But again, I can't stress enough that Lobotomy Corporation, the gameplay is nothing like this and the gameplay is way more fun. It's super involved. And it's, uh, it's like a monster management sim, I guess people say. It's basically, you can think of the basis of this story being the SCP Foundation, and then it gets more and more complicated from there out, there on. How are there like 12 enemy maids in this room? Enemy maid. Each enemies have different panic types. Oh, I know they do. Oh, I thought that was like an additional thing he had. No, I have. I think I just reached Star of City uh, in Ruina. Yeah. That's enough, Heathcliff. <laughs> just obliterate him. Gah, cough. Ah! Like master, like butlers. We can't kill her. Otherwise, we won't know what they were looking for. But why? Speak. I'm going to take your utensils and cut off your fingers one by one with each dodgy answer you little shites give me. You must know how sharp your own blades are. I kept them dull just for this reason, because I knew I would be captured and you will not be able to cut my fingers, young lad. <laughs> And that is why I have been named one of the one of the leading candidates for the next chief butler. 
I only keep adol utensils. Please cooperate, won't you? I don't want to have to use sleepy smack on my own subordinates. <laughs> the diary. And he didn't bring proper weaknesses? Doesn't doesn't matter. I still won in under 10 turns. That's all that needs to happen. Master Linton told us we must find the diary in Miss Catherine's room. Mistress Catherine's room. <laughs> That she must have hidden her diary somewhere in there, in here, as they were making modifications to the manor. 그래, 그 일기장을 왜 찾으려고 하시는 걸까, 린튼 도련님이? I see. Why do you think Master Linton's looking for that diary? 방법을 찾아야 한다고 하셨습니다. Master Linton told us it was uh, to find. Away. Dodgy answer. Cut her finger. Not talking to you, Andy. This game is piss easy. I'm saying how Spice Bushy saying is Pierce and Blunt. One which THG. What? One which the enemy is resistant to and the other is neutral. Oh, yeah. I usually only pay attention to those damage types, and then I've never needed to consider sins yet, except for that one railway boss, um, the, the end game one for two. Please, do keep your mysterious attitude. A few more answers like that, and I'll personally demonstrate I managed to become the chief butler. Yeah, I'm glad she's thinking the same as me. <laughs> It's the truth. He did not let us in on what this way is. I have told you all that I know. That's it. Looks like I'll have to. The only time I pay attention to sin and damage type is Art Railway 2. It's all unga bunga for the rest of the content. Yeah, I I didn't care. I pay attention to it in terms of like getting resources and other stuff like that, but never in terms of resistances. It just never mattered. Hunter Hunter Zoldic butlers and maids in Korea? Oh, that's right. I sort of vaguely remember that. That's enough, Heathcliff. I believe that she's telling the truth. All of you, leave us now. <laughs> and please, do you stay out of my sight. Nelly. Chief Butler Nelly. According to what intelligence we could gather, the dead rabbits, the syndicate of an urban plague classification, has long been obliterated from the T-Corp back streets. What? <laughs> what? <gasps> and that's why Faust was like, They have been inactive for a long, long time. In other words, They've already been vanquished. Other gangs have not seen the dead rabbits in the back streets in a while either. We have no way of verifying their identities. Please, do be careful. <laughs> Who in the blazes did Mr. Hindley let in this manner? He, there's no way he knows and I don't think he cares. In that diary, Diary, huh? I'm not sure what to expect from it, but if we do find it, it'll at least clue us in as to what kind of situation we've walked into. Small container, a space to hide such a diary, such a thing as a diary, would be these bookshelves or drawers. But it appears that the butlers have combed this room clean already. Heathcliff knows. 
<clears throat> I have once beheld such a sight. Forsooth, tis off the case that a hidden button off exists somewhere. We ought to scour this room from corner to corner with magnifying glasses much longer than even Gregor's. Much larger than even Gregor's. Ah, uh, These glasses are for my myopia. I, I didn't. His glasses are not even that large, but whatever. There are a thousand feathers of so many birds in this pillow. I mean, it could be like about four or five. Unless it's like a really big feather or really big pillow. Other people of means like to collect rare bird feathers and stuff their pillows with them, but. I don't like that. Do you know why? It's because I only want chicken feathers. Ishma, I mean, Kathy. Because birds are meant to fly, not to be killed like that. And she's like, and that is why I want all of my pillows to be filled with ostrich feathers, only ostrich feathers, because they cannot fly, and thus they are destined for the pillows. <laughs> yes, birds. Man, every single like poetic line she says, I'm like, that is just so fucking dumb. <laughs> you are so stupid. She's got, a, she's got that smile though. Yes, birds. Yes, birds do not belong in their cages. They are beings born to soar the skies. Uh, penguins. So I'm going to empty this pillow of their feathers. Instead, I will fill it with my secret. So that I will always have it at an arm's reach. His clip she. Heathcliff, why are you tearing that pillow open? <laughs> this is where Kathy would have... A diary, hidden within the pillow. Mm. Mm. It's stained by ink, even the color too. Oh, cover too. I wonder why anyone would do this to their own diary. Mm. Mm. When I would hold my pen against the paper for a long, long time, because I'm not sure what to write. The ink will start to pool and spread. Oh, the ink will start to pool and spread, leaving big stains like these. 일반적인 잉크의 성질과는 다르게 보입니다. 한 페이지에 번져 있는 잉크가. These ink stains appear to have been made from a non-standard Papermate number no. seven one point five black ink special ink pen. It is a bic. It is a. It is a uh, ballpoint pen. A pool of ink that stained this page has left no marks on the subsequent page. What? Perhaps. These stains were made on purpose to hide the words under them. If that Linton guy is trying so hard to find this diary, then... I'm willing to bet that it's important. Most of these pages are stained. True. Most of the pages were stained. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and their diff and their contents difficult to read where that was the second part of that sentence. I would have liked to read them even a little bit. That's when the pages suddenly began to flip rapidly until it came to a stop at a page which actually with actually legible words. Couldn't have been the wind. There weren't any open windows and then we were sucked into the fairy tale book. X, X, X. 
Heathcliff. Heathcliff left me. Without a word. I really wish they had done like a special font for this and not fucking Common Sans. Aerial Open Sans number one. With not even bolding. That's that's a disappointment. Why did they do it like this? A terrible thunderstorm rages outside. I know they're translating it, but... That's just Kathy's handwriting. With perfect kerning. <laughs> Will he cease to pain my heart and return home once the rain passes, like Nelly said? They're definitely experiencing, experimenting with stuffs in this chapter. The month is... It is the 20th day of the 20th month. Fine. Don't come back. This was on the same day. I don't want to see your face ever again, either. This manner and me. We're all you have. You don't have anything else. Will you truly abandon what is everything to you? Oh. <laughs> I like the little the, the silhouette of Heathcliff we get to see <laughs> for a split second. <laughs> Boy, this all feels extremely private. Should we? Why don't we leave Heathcliff alone so he can... No, this entry seems off. Yo, what up, my motherfuckers? <laughs> a guest paid me a visit. The first in a long time. Conversing with someone new really cleared my head. She said her name was Angela! <laughs> And I saw my shape in the mirror before me. I know what to do now. He, he said that she looked, that Ishmael looked like Kathy, right? Like way like in the beginning. The basement. We must descend there into the inferno. Who do you think this we is? It's figurative, Sinclair. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the basement? The basement. From what I remember, Nelly. I agree, Heathcliff. Everyone, it appears that our next destination lies at the basement of this manor. What makes you say that? Shut the fuck up, Otis. Because it was just mentioned. The old mistress who passed many years ago ordered us to seal the entrance to the basement. <laughs> Which means that the basement was unsealed when the modifications were made to the manor. But why... Why the basement? Kathy hated the dark, enough to keep her room always lit with several lanterns. The dreaded Reddit mod lives in the basement. Indeed, I recall having to purchase an entire set of lanterns whenever I left the manor to procure the groceries. That is certainly suspicious. Got any ideas to where we might find the basement, Nelly? Well, it's usually by the kitchen, isn't it? Is that... Is that true? In the house my great-grandfather built, that was not true. It was right next to the front entrance and in the living room. And then at my parents' house, 
the basement is next to the kitchen, I guess. The heck is a basement? What? You being serious? Well, let us investigate that place first, shall we? Well. Did they all just level up? Oh no. I saw 41 and I thought that was them. Good job. Alright. Oh. We're gonna take the elevator down. Where's the basement? There's all of Wuthering Heights. Heathcliffushi? Well. 19 out of 48. We are, uh, almost halfway done. But who knows when there's gonna be just a billion combats and then just win. Um, alright. Well, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. Kinda sucks I had to use a box, but it is what it is. I think I forgot I had a stream tonight and I just, like, you know. Did all my encephalons. Encephalons. Um, ooh, I just got two boxes, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, while I would like to do another extraction, I think I should wait until another event comes, considering I have both of these already. And actually, I'm thinking about it. That means she gets put here and she will be upgraded when the time is right. Oh, and I got her today. Cool. All right. Now I haven't been in one in real life, I think. But I haven't been in one in real life. Oh. Well, Pergus knocked. Comes in a, a couple weeks. Save it until then. Oh. Oh, that's what he meant by lunacy, maybe. I forgot that it had like an extraction for it. Why do you not upgrade Captain Ish? Um, I could. I just don't know how good she is. Uh, I've just been using this, this one. I just, I got her at the end of the season. Um, so that's the main reason. The other reason is because, uh, when I was doing Railway, um, my goal was to get this Hong Lu up. And then after that, I wanted to get this. Rogian up. Oh, and this Rogian, even though I don't think she's that good. Um, to get this one up. This one up for Railway, and then this one up for the Gloom Thread, uh, which she's doing one full on. It takes now, it's, I have every single um, Thread Lux is now brainless for me, so goal achieved. And then I, um, yeah. So that's the reason. So it's just... I guess I can get her up. She's generally better than all the ish you have right now. Okay. I mean, uh, what I've been doing with all my thread is literally just upgrading every single one. Um, just for fun. Um, I'm not, I probably, let, how many, let me look. Cause I haven't obviously been using these. So I could 40 her immediately. Cause I do have that and I have 20 of those, a hundred of these. I've just been uh, keeping the experience because I haven't run into anything where I need to level anyone. But um, I know that like if I wanted to be super good in terms of being like the most prepared I could be for the game, I should be saving the thread thread for um, uptying uh, ego and stuff. But I don't have that impetus to do that yet, so I've just been getting unlocking all the stories and stuff. Um, how I keep myself entertained. I can even do her right now, but I'll just bring her up to two. Actually, I don't want to make you guys sit through that though. That's not. They're usually not that interesting. But I got her today. Yeah, look, there she is. Partake. Yeah. Um, if if you're saying that Ish is good, then I will uh, I'll upgrade her. 
the this ish is all right it's it's all right base uh well no it's not that good she's all right i just haven't used really the other ones um she looks really cool i, I love her or are you talking about the pequod ish yeah the pequod ish is good what was i trying to do it's gonna do something Oh no, I was gonna do something. Oh, I remember. We have people. What color do thine eyes behold in this nightmare? That's a pretty good one. I think that might be. No, that's not Hellcat, not 78. Once again, the fault lies with liquor. Or shoes all I have left, I can't. That might be Hellcat. I love how it's like everything, everyone that always says today. It's like, gotta do the day. Done day. Did you do your dailies? Unless my daily violence has come to an end. This whale is all I have left, I can't. <laughs> oh, it is time for work. 82. Oh, I like the Mobius. Thing. That Faust seems quite attractive to me. My tagline is I discharge for fun. <laughs> Preparing for the honk honk as per our master's orders. Wait a minute, that's not what I had. Was it? Did I change it during stream? Bound over to the next. Ready, as per that Hong Kong's orders. But of course, I am a competent Hong Kong. <laughs> but of course, I am a competent foolish master. I am a competent some old guy. Is there like idiot? Those warp trains, world. Don't they? I still, I need to change mine back to what I had it as, because it's really funny. Um, <laughs> it was this, and then... The straight jacket isn't nearly enough to hold my honk honk back. <laughs> That's my favorite one. I like that one a lot. <laughs> I think honk honk is a default one. Alright. Greetings, I'm Limbus Company. Fellow honk honk user, I kneel. I love honk honk. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> The straight jacket is it nearly enough to hold back my honk honk they need to make dawn say more ingress words i think they they know that and i've been making her do that all right so again dragon's dogma on friday this game will return on Thursday, but it might be a little delayed. And then, or it almost certainly will be by like 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Um, and then, uh, I don't know if I'll do Elden Ring or Fume Night on Monday, but one of those. But I will see you all later. Thanks for hanging out. This is just sort of my time to enjoy Limbus. I'm glad I could share that with you all. Now I have to do my dailies. Um, all right, I'll see you all later. Have a good night, good morning, good afternoon, good wherever you are. See ya.